What's going on, everybody? Ultimate DJs here from Talking Trek Live with the absolute most massive, amazing news to hit the community in many, many days, weeks, months, even perhaps one of the biggest things to hit this game in the last three years is being brought to you today, not by Ultimate DJs, not by Scopely, but by a member of the community, and we're super excited to be able to bring this to you today. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ultimate DJs. I'm your friendly neighborhood cat person. I am your host of Talking Trek and would like to invite you in today. Yeah, no, no. You know what? I probably should. Here, let me do, let me do this. There we go. See, I wasn't even... There we go. Now we're rolling tape. All right. We got no sound effects. We got no stupid news. We got no commercial breaks. We got no music for you today. Today is all about the player experience. Today is all about the game. No fluff. No garbage. All about improvements to the game that we have spent years playing and spent years waiting on certain things and certain features. And today, uh, I am super, super pleased to be able to introduce to you the man who is going to bring a few of these here to you today. Um, as we uh, kind of get into our stream, I would like to welcome everybody on our YouTube chat. I'd like to welcome those on our stage over here in Discord. Uh, v Ready, Bubba Joe, thank you guys for being here. I believe, hopefully, we're going to have... Um, uh, foe here in just a moment to help us conduct some actual on-screen testing and uh, maybe big country can stop by I hope as well IJ would love to have you on the stage as well if we are uh, if we're able as a matter of fact IJ I would very very much like for you to help me conduct some testing if you would like to come to the stage uh, I would very much appreciate if you would be willing and I'll make it as cheap as I can uh, I would very much like to um, have you attack me a few times here on screen uh, in some controlled testing so that we can show off a few things. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like at this time to go ahead and pod up our guests uh, and welcome to the stage uh, Bubba Joe from the West Coast in these United States. Bubba Joe, happy Sunday afternoon to you, early afternoon where you are. Welcome into the show. Thank you, DJ. Awesome. Appreciate you being here. Are you excited, Bubba? You You have been one of the the biggest um, cheerleaders of Ripper over the last several days when we finally kind of made it so that, that people knew what Ripper was working on for, for the first several days while there was some uncertainty. We kept things a little bit under wraps, um, and, uh, and uh, you might have been the very first person that PM me and said, I have to have it. Please send it to me. Give me that. Give me that mod. Like You were the first one. Are you excited for today? Because we got a lot of stuff to show off for you, buddy. I'm excited. I got. I can't wait to see uh, what uh, what Rippers, and 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 not not to completely uh, uh, invalidate what you said, but the fact that the last two really awesome things for STFC to have come out are, I would say, STFC dot space and then this. I mean, <laughs> player Rippers driven. all over it. Player driven. STFC yep. dot space and and on top of that project. He has this project dumped in his lap and decides that it's time to go to town. Uh, Foe on 15 sends me a message and says he's actually driving and listening in right now, so we'll be unable to crack my base. Uh, hopefully we can get a player on that, that might be willing to, uh, to come over and, and inflict some pain on me here today is, uh, is what I would like to do. Nonetheless, uh, I know you guys are just absolutely anxious to see it. We need to get into the game. Uh, I would like to welcome to the stage the man of the hour. And, and Ripper, I tell you, it feels like you are getting more and more and more of these accolades as time goes on. Many, many uh, of the hour type moments have been dedicated to you here lately. And uh, I would like to say thank you and welcome to the stage today, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Criminal Ripper, good afternoon to you, and how do you do, Hello. sir? Hello. Doing good, doing fine. Ripper, you have put in a tremendous amount of time into this project. Not only, you know, that, but you've also spent a ton of time on stfc.space. One would argue that you spend too much time and not enough time sleeping, young man. Have you have you been eating? Possibly, possibly. Have you been eating? Have I've, you been showering? I have been. I have been eating. I have been showering. Okay, yes. good. <laughs> That's good. As long as, as long as everybody's nice and healthy, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and take you into gameplay. Now, what I'm going to show to you here first, and I am going to yeah, we'll leave the we'll leave the cat up for a little bit. First thing I'd like to show you is here just very simple system view. Okay, and I don't even have it all the way zoomed out. <clears throat> here we go. So. We're going to dive right into this. Now, guys, be aware. Here's what's happening today. Today, we are going to show you 
everything about this mod that there is to see. Okay, We're also going to show you how you as a player can control certain visual aspects or certain functional aspects within this mod. We're going to teach you how to use it. And towards the middle or end of this show, we, uh, I say we, but an announcement will come from Ripper's Corner Discord. So if you're not there, be sure and subscribe. Stevens Aaron will provide you with the invite link. Let's get that place jam-packed and full. An announcement will come that contains a downloadable set of files for you to be able to take and implement into your own PC version of Star Trek Fleet Command so that you too, in the span of two or less hours, will be able to play with the exact same uh, feature set that you see on your screen here today. Uh, what we are doing at this moment, though, is showing off what it can do and the changes. You guys have seen, we've already done one actual stream where we displayed literally two hours of Ripper's efforts. All right, And what it was was simply a scalable canvas to be able to, to, be able to see the entire system, to zoom out. Uh, we, if you remember, we had very small buttons very small buttons. As a matter of fact, I think I duplicated that and, and showed you. And, and one of the nice things that we'll be able to do today is to actually be able to show you how some of these things can be changed yourself to, to enhance or change your own personal uh, preferences when it comes to some of the features in this mod. For example, uh, we did this, and, and one thing, just in that it is a modification, is that it requires the game client to be reset. Uh, however, when we, when we come in, for example, I could come back over here and show you what we could do to make things different. All right, so for example, you just saw a second ago that the, that the buttons and everything laid out were, were very nice. Let's show you how drastic you can make it. All right, we can come in here. While we're using this login feature, let's go ahead very quickly and uh, show off Ripper, one of your latest uh, uh, things that you were tackling, which is the workaround, I guess, if you will, of the full screen feature. We demonstrated on screen, and see, by the way, I just changed the UI scaling. See how much smaller these buttons are. You can do that. You can make it however you want, all right? Um, you can make them as large as you want. We showed on the YouTube stream the other night making them 125% ripper, and obviously it was unplayable, right? You just couldn't see anything. Um, so you have the ability to control your own zoom format, the size of, of the buttons and the fonts and so forth. Because we did, Ripper. We had a couple of players say, well, gosh, I think it's too small. You know, it, it yeah. actually doesn't look good. It, it's not, it, it's not um, properly, what did they say? It wasn't like aspect ratio or something. Just the buttons were too small. Well, okay, Ripper said, no problem, community. Option given. All right, here's another one I want to show you. This is one that was on my list, strictly from a streaming perspective. Uh, we had already talked about the ability to resize the UI, which you guys know if you have the client, you are not able to do. All right, you can resize the UI, uh, and it doesn't even have to keep aspect ratio. You can go top to bottom. You can go side to side. You can make this however big or small you want. But some people would like full screen, right? Well, we tested the full screen inside the game, but as with a lot of things... Which doesn't work when you have no mod installed. When you, <laughs> that's right. As with a lot of things, full screen uh, is, is wonky if you have multiple displays. Yeah, that's, that's not using... The, the normal full screen mode is completely not non-functional with my mod install. Oh, well, fine. Good. I'm glad. All right, because it, it doesn't work for us anyway. Again, it's it's a mod that I hacked together in a couple of days. So you know, what? So what we're gonna do here? Some, some small things m might be a bit wonky, but well, well I, I think I, it's better this way. I think it is. I think it is <laughs> because now, just like any other normal window, you can double click it. You can make full size. But then the one last comment that I had to Ripper was like, "Golly, man, is there any way we can get rid of that title bar? It'd be really cool, especially for streaming, if we can get rid of that title bar, right?" Let's, let's get rid of that thing. Okay, no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the new functional F11, which is the same as the full screen command for many other applications. F11 will bring you into full size mode, okay? Can you resize from here? No. 
F11 to get back out, all right? And then you can resize your window if you need to bring it down here a little bit smaller because you got the boss watching you, okay? Uh, but F11 now, getting rid of your title bar and bringing you into the game. Now, I'm going to exit the game so I can come back into my configuration file and reset my UI scale back to what Ripper and I kind of looked and, and hopefully feel like is a, an appropriate scale, for the size of the canvas as compared to the button size. Uh, and we will tell you those figures. As a matter of fact, those default figures are going to be saved in your own personal customization file. Uh, the defaults that, that Ripper has chosen will be will be there. And then, of course, you can tinker with them well, how you want. They, the defaults are not written to the file, but um, they don't turn up. Oh, well, I meant, I meant like the defaults in that patch file, the, te the Tommel. Uh, nonetheless... You can come in here, and now we've got F11, and we've got a decent size of our buttons back, but still uh, a fantastic canvas, all right? I believe that the triangles are appropriate. I believe that the, the text is appropriate at this level. Nothing is too big or too small. You still have a nice, big, full view of the system. Uh, absolutely looks phenomenal, okay? Absolutely looks great, and this is kind of uh, the, the default, if you will, of what we, of what we expect uh, most players will probably enjoy, all right? A uh, couple of other things, and uh, I don't yet see if anybody... Oh, somebody moved in. Who's this? Hey, Easy. Easy's on our stage. What's up, buddy? I'm going to invite you up in voice. Uh, bring, bring you up in voice so we can, uh, we can do a couple of things here. Now, um, right now, let me see. What, what events do we even have, Ripper? Because I'd, like I'd like to take a look and see if we can show some of this stuff. Um, we have one of the ticket events. We do have ticketed events. Uh, okay, great. You know what, Officer XP, this is great. I can show this one to you because uh, I've done some of the others. Looks like we've also got a hostel. Okay, this is yeah. perfect. Yeah, this yeah. is perfect. We got yeah. stuff to show. It's easy to show off the, uh, the thing. So <clears throat> right now, now at, at Ripper, in looking at in looking at the file that you sent me with, with the default that we're using Th at this moment. That has events disabled. That's correct. Events are disabled. So if I bring a ship out, all right, I'm going to bring this ship out. Uh, we can see I've got a hostile hunt event going on right here. Ticketed event. I have joined. Show of force. I can kill a hostile all the way down to level four and get some points here, okay? And that's fine. I don't care about the points right now. Uh, what I want to show you is what you would traditionally see is when you kill this hostile what would normally happen is we would... Oh, look, there's an Armada canceled, okay? Armada canceled. We got that banner. We're going to kill this hostile. You're going to notice no banner, no toast for the points that I got for killing that hostile. Also notice no victory banner, okay? Now, I'm going to close this client for just a moment, all right? Um, and Ripper, just for ease, I believe that I'm going to comment out that entire line. I can do that, right? Just... Just yeah, comment yeah, it out. Can. All you right, can. so I'm going to copy You can also this. show the file if you want. Like, you don't have to do it off screen. You know what? I'll do, I'll do just that. Let's do that. What did I just do? Paste. Oh, I don't know what replace. you did. Replace. I got it. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on your screen, I'm going to show you uh, this particular little notepad file. And I, I don't know what the, uh, what the resolution looks like. Is there a way to zoom in on notepad so people can see it a little bit better, Rip? I don't know if you guys are going to see um, that. If you go to, what was it, view, maybe? Wait, I don't know where the font setting yeah, is. Yeah, here we go. Whoops. The, it... Wrong button. Yeah, here we go. View, yeah. zoom in. Woof. Oh, you can control do, plus. You can do control plus. Right, control plus. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm going to show you show you this. Hopefully, you guys can see this. This is uh, a, a, a patch file, okay? And this is where some of the, the personal customizations are going to be made. Now, I, I want to be really clear that most, well, almost everything that Ripper has created or modified is going to be contained within, um, within this file, at least as far as the, the settings, okay? Obviously, it's not as simple as fix faction equals true, okay? What these are are essentially calls to action. All right. The calls to action are referencing the actual modification file that Ripper has written for this game. So this configuration file is essentially more or less your customizable interface. Okay. This is where right now you can change things within the game. All right. Um, everybody okay to see? Can you guys see all right on the, on the screen? 
Okay, Neo says yeah, Luke. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, I tried to tried to blow it up here. I can I can make it bigger if if we need to. Uh, control. All right, there. That's nice and big. All right, and by the way, here's I can't what, see anything. Here's what we were talking about. Okay, okay? the UI scale at fifty nine percent. And and by the way, truthfully, we we nailed this down. We started at fifty percent Ripper, right? Then we tried seventy five percent. And it, and it still was too big. Then we dropped it to 70%, tried 65, 60, went down to 55, felt it was too small, went back to 57. As it turned out, 59 felt the best for me. It felt the best for me. Um, you will be able to change this to whatever it is you want. If you like more canvas or if you need bigger buttons, then you can change this field right here to be whatever you want, keeping in mind that 1.0 is 100% or the actual natural state of the game, okay? Up here, for example, and these were a couple of things that I was mentioning to Ripper before the show, is do we actually, whoops, sorry, do we actually need to display some of these things, all right? For example, fix ISS jellyfish warp. Well, obviously, we want that on. Who would actually change that to be false? Nobody would. But Ripper believes in full transparency and wants it here for players to see what changes have been made so that if for whatever reason, let's say you may just want to challenge the god that is Ripper and say, well, it doesn't work for me. Well, you can go in and test it for yourself. Turn it off, turn it on, see if anything changes. How about this one, Ripper? You want to explain this one? Use out of dock power. This is a new modification written in the last 24 hours. Ripper, tell us what this does. Um, so, I don't know. So, there are some defensive researchers that apply when the ship is docked, and I was like, well, I don't I don't know if I really care about this, so I just made it optional so you can disable it. If you, use, if you say use out-of-dock power true, then in dock your ships will show the power they will have out-of-dock, basically. This could actually go a long way in lessening the confusion of players as to why my ship power is different in dock. And, and up until today, the answer has always been because of a factionless bug. Because your ship is getting research that it's not supposed to have. So, so if, you, if you have fixed faction on and use out of dock power on true, then none of your ships will drop in power when you move them out of your base anymore. Which essentially means essentially. the power that you see is the power that you have no matter what. Now, if it, one caveat to this. If your ship is in dock and you are attacked in dock, you do still, of course, have the benefit of your defensive research. So in your battle log, you will see an increased ship power strength because the defensive research became applicable. But what you're simply seeing here, using out-of-dock power, is simply just your ship management screen and showing that the power also, in your DJ, ship... Also, you, DJ, you are missing one important thing in your config file. Right all the way at the top, there should be... Yeah, in, I thought there's supposed to be a brackets, UI, right? Buffs. No, that's supposed to be square brackets buffs. Yeah, something and happened there. I, I must have copied something incorrectly, just like just, that, right? Just, just saying, because... It won't work. We use default values, which are not yes. those. Thank you for that. I, I'm not exactly sure what I did there. Not DJ's yeah. He's not computer friendly. Uh, yeah, you gotta you gotta tell me how to use. I didn't even know how to zoom. He's an old okay. man. Old man. All right. Let's take a let's take a look down here now. Ripper, you explained this one. This is important right here. Okay, just in being able to control some of the resizing. Tell me a little bit about this uh, command. So. Right here. It just scale res in the in the graphics section. If that's set to true, then it will attempt to um, when so current without with that dis disabled. When you resize the window to be smaller, then the UI will also shrink. If you enable that to true, then it will try to keep a more relative size of the UI elements so they don't go too small when you resize the window a bit smaller. That means ob obviously you get less canvas when you resize to smaller window. That's based on a 1080p resolution. Uh, as a base and goes from there and does some some smaller calculations um but yeah so so essentially what what this line does if you activate this line then this line almost really doesn't matter all right because this line is going to oh no it does it does that's that's adjusting that value it's, okay so it's still the ratio the percentage yeah, yeah. as compared yeah, it's, what what but this it's getting adjusted in, in in a bit more so it goes it the basically the scaling goes higher it goes to a higher scale when you make the window smaller based on a reference of a 1080p resolution. 
Absolutely. All right. Uh, we come down. One of the one of the things that I had talked about in one of my early reports, uh, and I know that some people had talked here in uh, in Discord when I was showing this off. And, and uh, Bubba, I think it was you. Can't remember. We were talking about mouse momentum, right? Uh, I think it was you. We were talking about in base. We were talking about in doc, uh, folks. It, just for the moment, if uh, if it's okay, Ripper, I have commented out this line. Right, so that is going to disable this particular command for a moment. Yep. I'm going to save this, and we're going to come into the game. All right, uh, I want to demonstrate this to you. You guys saw on screen only moments ago that I killed a ship and had no banners, but I was not in battle view mode. We're going to talk more about banners coming up here in just a moment. But yes, no, no, honey, I do not use Notepad Plus Plus. My preferred editor is Vim. More specifically, oh yeah, I I'm not the program. the 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 nice thing is, this is going to be able to be used by everybody in Hani. So so when the TOML file, the TOML is what it's called. All right, uh, it's probably not TOML. I'm I'm a geek when it comes. No, to it's stuff. it's it's you, people usually say TOML. Okay, so when you get your TOML file, you will in fact actually be able to open it in just Notepad, so that anybody can actually come in and change this setting. Okay, anybody can come in and and modify their personal preferences, okay? So let's go back to can the I system just, mode. Go ahead, Noel. Can just copy and paste that file and just put it as a .toml, technically? I mean, it, it is. It is a .toml. I just opened it with yeah. Notepad. Yeah, I'm just watching. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I opened it with <laughs> Notepad because I don't, I don't have programming tools, all right? Now, uh, Bubba, we had talked about this earlier. Uh, the The drag in the system, which now we have back, okay? Even if we zoom in... All right, and, and you guys know what I'm talking about. When you drag with your mouse and your mouse is in motion when you release the click, the, the screen stays still, all right? But if people want to drag, we can move the mouse, let go of the click in the middle of the drag, and the system will continue to go, all right? What is that? That is this setting right here. Daggone it. What have I done? Actually, you can... You... You can you could disable it if you set the fall oh, off to go. zero. There we go. Sorry about that. What is what is happening here? I, mean, I, I think to... I think you can disable it if you set it to zero, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god, the view. Okay, here, let me blow this back up again. All right, so um, right here, system pan momentum fall off. Okay, that's where you can actually disable that. I, me personally, I I like. I, th it. I think I I haven't tested if you can disable it via that because I think that's just just keep it because that's. I think now it's supposed to be, but I think if you set it to 0, 0.0, it's disabled, but I haven't tested this. Okay. Because the fall off just determines how the, the percentage goes goes down over time. So it goes right. it's to a gradual, and a gradual time. slow. You guys will notice yeah. when I drag that it's quicker at first and then slows to an eventual stop. That is basically the, uh, the momentum feature working and, uh, and reducing its progression over time. All right. Uh, we're going to go back in here to our F11 mode, which, of course, we see right here. All right, great call right there. How about keyboard zoom speed? All right, we were talking about this the other day where only the mouse wheel was going to let you zoom in. Some players said, what can we do about, about keyboard shortcuts? Well, not, uh, not fully explored, but uh, we will now offer the keyboard zoom commands, Ripper, which are what? Uh, Q and E. Q, Q for zooming in and for e zooming in. E and, and E for zooming, for zooming out. And this speed right here uh, is the speed of that zoom. I would not recommend that you really tinker with this. Okay? You can if you want, but uh, this will control how quickly or how slowly the system zooms in. But if you're trying to incrementally zoom in just to the point where you can see hostile names, the higher that number, the more difficult it's going to be to get a smaller incremental change. All right? This is oh one of God, those... Like this is one of those things where I feel like Ripper has tested it out and found the optimum position. You can tinker with it if you like, but uh, wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Just like up here. I'm not going to recommend you guys mess with these because why would you want to turn a bug back on? Now, uh, I'm going to take my hostel and I'm going to take him out. Now, we've changed our configuration file. Ripper, if we see what we expect to see, I'm going to get an event banner. There it is. And I'm going to get a victory banner. Yep. There it is. Okay, we've got that. That is because, and you guys noticed only a short bit ago that those weren't there. That's because I've commented out or disabled this line. So let's spend a few minutes here, Ripper, because we have, as a community, talked for 
what, a year and a half, maybe two, about disabling banners in this game. What can we do to disable banners in this game? Look, somebody just hit my base. All right? I did get the victory. I got the victory. But, guys, let me show you something here, okay? Um, the only – so we, we're not supposed to have any banners disabled. So I got the banner that I scored the victory. Did I get the banner that my station was under attack because I was looking at something else? I, I think even, that sometimes doesn't even That work doesn't even freaking anymore. work all the time, right? Some, sometimes, I think. All right. Um, We've been talking for years about disabling banners. Well, uh, Ripper has come through in something that, that arguably, man, would have been great if we could have done a long time ago. Let me pull this file back up. Uh, and I'm going to remove our hashtag here, Ripper. Okay, so now the command is re-enabled. And, of course, do keep in mind that the game will have to be reinitialized for any changes in this file to take effect. All right? But what I've done at is least, I've, At least at the moment. At eventually, the, I may be able to do those at runtime, but... There you go. Uh, I ran out of time, people. <laughs> well, people, people were demanding it, Ripper. People needed to see the mod. Well, uh, and, and I've got some comments on that coming up here shortly that I want the community to keep in mind, uh, but, but we'll, we'll get to those in a moment. So now, right now, um, this banner type, we can disable the certain banner types. What's fascinating to me, Ripper, is I had no idea how many different categories or different properties of banner there were in this game. Ladies and gentlemen, take a quick peek at all of these. Each one of these have a different function of banner within the game, okay? <laughs> so here's what a lot of people are going to do. A lot of people are going to do uh, this little number. And actually, um, you know what? I kind of set this up so that this is not going to be easy to do on camera, didn't I, Ripper? <laughs> Thank God. I wanted right. to put in all of them. Yeah, the I should have. I should have done that. What I what I I probably should have done, and it it has to be no spaces, comma separated. Okay, uh, spaces should be fine. Okay, yeah, should should be stripped. There you go. So yeah, I man, and and it can't. I can't hit. I can. Enter to I go can to, send you. I can send you a comma separated list. Could you, could you, yeah, that'd be second. better than me trying to fumble through it on camera, and I'll and I'll, I'll copy that in. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys, and, and, and the reason that I wanted to spend a minute on this, all right, there are a lot of scenarios in this game, a lot of scenarios in this game where you may not want 100% of banners removed. There may be, there may be banners you want to keep. All, all of them in a comma-separated list. Well, he's going to put all of them in. He's going to put all of them in, and we, we can force a banner. We're not going to be able to get a banner going, all right? We're not going to be able to get a banner going. But there is a couple of them that we might want to keep in, all right? Uh, for example, bounty Probably hunters. Probably incoming attack. Incoming um, attack would be good. Incoming, maybe this is a bounty battle. hunter. Station battle. What What did you tell me the word fleet was for? That has something to do with armadas. Uh, uh, we don't I even. <laughs> no, <laughs> here's our. I can't. Yeah, there's so many different properties of banner here that we're not oh, even 100 percent sure what they all freaking do. Some I of them. What, what that one was. Some of them are. I knew it at some point. I knew every single one at some point, but you know, yeah. I can't remember all of them. You got to be careful. I with renamed this one of the. I renamed one of them to be more clear. But you need to be really, really, really careful with this. Now, Scaly, relax yourself, buddy. This has nothing to do with bots. Okay, this is this is not botting this is not making it any easier to use a bot this has nothing to do with that okay it's basically ui improvements yeah these these are graphical days. display changes okay or bug fixes for things oh, that are actually or, broken. Yeah. yeah which we'll get to the bugs here in a minute right now we're talking everything that we've seen graphically here okay and and guys i'm going to be very very uh vocal when i encourage you to consider these yeah. extremely carefully we complain about banners we do. But, man, just as soon as they 100% go away, how reliant on them could we have potentially been? And just a second ago, you guys saw a notification on my screen that one of my alliance launched an armada. If that banner were not there, how would you know? Unless you were watching chat. Unless you were monitoring the chat. If you were, if you were out here and you were on Galaxy View, you'd never see it. You would never see it. So you got to be careful with some of the stuff that you choose to turn on and turn off. You could have your base. Sorry, I know the cat keeps... You know what? I'm, I'm going to turn the cat off 
Sorry, guys, because because I I'm looking at a at a ton of stuff. I'm looking at a ton of stuff. So the cat looks like I'm I'm staring off over my shoulder. It's because I'm looking at at three different monitors. So I'm going to turn that off for now. I apologize. Um, you got to be real real careful about these banners because you don't know how reliant on some of these you may have become over the last three years. You could literally. How about this one, folks? How terrible would it be for you to be in game? And never know. Maybe all five ships. Guys, what if all five ships are out mining or doing something else? You will literally have no way of knowing that you are being raided. Unless you look at your resources and you see them go down. Unless you're watching your resource counters drop. Guys, some of these are dangerous. All right? There is going to be an element of player responsibility and, and that, somebody asked earlier before the show, Ripper, what's the risk of using these mods? What kind of support will Scopely use, uh, give me for using these mods? Let me, be, let me be very clear, folks. A, you are not at risk as far as terms of service to use this mod. Let me, let me say this now on camera uh, and, and publicly. Scopely is 100% aware of what Ripper has been working on. Ripper... Is, a, is an nda content creator and data handler for Scopely Incorporated. Ripper has been doing this for three years. Look, see, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, a notification that someone's coming to attack my base. Did you see the red ring, though? That's because my banners are on, all right? I got this because my banners are on. See, what we did when we rebooted this, the only thing that I disabled was victory, defeat, and event. So all of these down here are still listed as on. And actually, I guess I didn't disable it yet. I didn't reinitialize the client because Ripper was sending me a... Because I just got the defeat banner. Um, you yeah. have... The, the station victory and the station defeat are separate. Oh, so this is just for ships. Just for normal yeah. ships. Yeah, down That's here. Also station, there, station. You, there you go. Station defeat. Okay, station victory. Different banners. Okay. Uh, station battle. All right. Got to be real careful. So to, to clarify what I was beginning to say, is Scopely going to support you if you turn off notifications and you get raided while you're in game? No, sir. No, ma'am. They will not use this mod at your own risk. You control the notifications you get. Community, you've been screaming about notifications for three years. You've got the choice now to control them, but don't come back and yell at Ripper or me or even Scopely when you get raided while you're in game. You choose the notifications you want, which is what we've really kind of driven at all this time, Ripper. Let us choose what kind of notifications we do get. Some players don't want to get the notifications for armadas all the time. I mean, heck, you might come into this file and turn off the armada notification on an armada hunt day because you don't want 30,000 notifications coming through your phone. Okay. I got a question. Go ahead. So, Ripper, is there any way to add a graphical part to the game like this, but in game itself where you can click the settings and then uncheck what you want technically really possible want. yes too much work for me for me to care yes okay and and scope listen the idea behind this was to give scopely the ammunition to do this themselves okay the the whole idea what you guys are seeing is not ripper correct me if i'm wrong what you guys are seeing here is not all ripper wrote you're not seeing the thousands of lines of code it's not thousands of lines i think you think all right, fine. Let's call it. Let's call it hundreds, even. Let's just call right. it dozens of hours of work that you've put in. This is not it. Yeah. These are the calls. All right. These are the the customizations. These are the commands. All right. To to for example, to make this work, there could be. I don't know. Let's guess. Could be twenty lines of code that this is calling and inserting this value into the code that's in the game. So, to, to no one shell asking, is there a way that we could make this into something in our settings section? I mean, I guess anything's possible, but no, that's not the point of this project. The point of this project was to give players control over and fix some bugs, which we've got a, we've got a longer bug list uh, fix that we'll give to you here in a second, but to give players a little bit of control over some of their own experiences. And then, to go back to Scopely, whom we have been communicating with, and say, here's what we did. Here are the files. 
Here, this file, we're going to give it to you. This file, we're going to give it to you. Here's all the raw source code. We're going to give it to you. Ripper has donated all of this time to Scopely. Why, you may ask? Could be for that big half a million dollar bonus that he's getting. (laughs) I wish. Hmm. No? It could actually just be the, the actual true intent of Criminal Ripper. Let me read you a quote. I will give them everything. All files, all code, and all documentation. If it means the player experience is improved, I am 100% in. Ripper, whose quote is that? Mine. It's his quote. Well, he said sad. He's ashamed of mine. It's his quote. All right. So for all, for all the people that have been talking about why Scopely isn't paying Ripper, I mean... If Scopely forced a bunch of hundred dollar bills in your pockets, I figure he ain't gonna ain't gonna complain. But he hasn't asked. He hasn't asked. Why hasn't he asked? Because he just wants the game to be better for you guys. It's crazy. That's what he wants. He's trying to make it better. Look, people people are lining up to attack me over here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. BSO is recruiting, by the way. All right. Um, yeah, Ripper is probably too humble to even comment that I wrote that quote down. But you know what? That quote means a lot to me. That quote, to get real deep here for a second, is probably the solution to the world being a better place if people behaved like this young German boy. I mean, seriously. If the world acted like Criminal Ripper, it would be a really different place. All right, I digress. The point is that Ripper all along made the intention of creating this file to send to Scopely to, to do two things. One, to actually get some improvements built into the game. But two, to prove a point. Ripper, you, you, have made it, uh, you have made it almost a, a fun game on our show over the last year and a half that you've been involved, uh, almost, a, uh, almost a year and a half, where you have said, I could fix it in five minutes. <laughs> Give me source code, he says. I could fix it in minutes. I don't know why. Why, Scopely? Why can we not get the Stella Warp Timer fixed? Why, Scopely, has that been an issue since July of 2020? That the Stella can't warp anywhere and the timer be right. Why? I could fix it in five minutes. That's what Ripper has said. It's stupid, is what he says. Mm-hmm. I did. It's stupid. Many times. And, and it may have offended maybe some people somewhere. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. I don't think it's... I don't think... But you know if it's true, what am I going to do? Well, here, here's oh, what Ripper is- says. Ripper says, all right, now an opportunity. He said this to me the other day. He said, how much of a dick would I be? Can I say that on YouTube? Sorry. Yeah, how, how much? Sure, how, can. <laughs> how much of a dick would I be <laughs> if now I have the opportunity to do something about it and didn't? I mean, what does that say to Scopely when I'm over here rubbing their noses in something that, that they haven't fixed for a year that I can fix now, but I don't? It can be done very easily, basically, what he's saying. What Ripper has demonstrated here is not only his inordinate knowledge of this game, but also that things can be done. And that was the message to Scopely. You know this mod, No One Shell? He wasn't even going to release it. He wasn't even going to tell anybody he was working on it. He was just going to do it to say he could. Yeah. And in the process, in the process, he created something that I guarantee you, in the next 24 hours, minimum, minimum 5,000 players will download this. Ripper, before we put it up, before we put it up, Ripper, which we are going to do in in just a very few minutes, before we put it up, Ripper, if there's a way, just for my own satisfaction, I know you don't care, I'd like a download counter on it. That would be good. I want to. I I know you haven't done enough, Ripper. (laughs) Put a counter. Let's see if we can put something together. Let's show Scopely how many people want this type of work. All right. I'd download it right now. 
Well, you're you're gonna yeah, you're gonna I'm, have a I'm chance. Working, I'm working on the announcement. Give me give me. You're give gonna me have a chance. Let's I'm talk about Ripper right. very quickly. Uh, a couple of the other things that you've done. How about, yep. ladies and gentlemen, is that so? My file, my file is is correct. My file is completely up to date. Is that correct? Um, for the for the version TRL, yes. Yes. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you'll notice here on ship slot D, ship slot D, I have Pike, I have Moreau, I have Chen. Let's uh, demonstrate. A I new... haven't fixed Pike yet, though. But oh, you didn't? No. Oh, I, I was getting ready to talk about that. That's too much work. Okay. For, to get it done this weekend, I, I really I, tr I tried, but then I broke something else, so the the cargo was too low, and then. Okay. Hey, that's uh, okay. It was, it's a complicated one because I have to change a, a <clears throat> rather large function. I basically have to re-implement it completely myself, and All that's right. a bit. Fair enough. More, that's a bit. That's a bit more work because I don't have source code access. Let, let's I, I... go ahead. No one. So these mods, this uh, graphical UI mod reminds me of the day of World of Warcraft. Any massive multiple player game has had these kind of modifications to UI to make player experiences easy. It's never been against uh, QS or anything. Most companies actually accept it these days. And that's what basically Rivers doing, and which I think is amazing because we needed some like this in the game. Something to help improve the PC client of the game. It's just amazing. Yeah, it's PC only currently, but it'll give Scopely an idea like, hey, UI mods aren't a bad thing. It helps the players and it makes them happier. It fixes things that have annoyed players for almost three years now or two years or whatever it is. So that's why I'm really supporting Ripper on this mod. It's amazing. Let me let bad. me tell you what we've been able to do, No One Shell, over the last couple of days. All right. And so for the rest of the community that's seeing this for the very first time, let me we show. We haven't shown the bug fixes that I did for the for the things. Yeah, we're 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 gonna we're gonna do all the this here. The last time we showed it off on stream was only the UI thing. You are scanning. I know. Yeah, we're not we're not anywhere near done. We got plenty of time here, guys. All right. By the way, real quick, what I did here is uh, Ripper sent me a, a comma separated of one hundred percent of banners. Okay, all of them right here. So I am going to save this. I am going to close it. I'm going to exit my game, and I'm going to relaunch the game, and now I'm going to have a couple of people come and smack my base, okay? Uh, we're going to reinitialize. And now, coming into this game, my banners are 100% off. And again, I urge very much caution in using this feature. Really truthfully, Ripper, this could be probably the most dangerous one, okay, for players to get to get fuddled up on. So be real, real careful with this. Um, oh, my neighbor left. <laughs> Look, I had a yeah. new neighbor move in. He's a level nine now. His name is I'm a shill. Thank you. He was, <laughs> there last time I, he was a level eight on the last show, though. He's growing. He's growing up. He's a big boy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, real quick, and, and I don't know if I've got anybody from 15 listening. I, I'd really like, well, you know what, here, let's let's go kill a hostile. We saw a few moments ago that our event toasts were on uh, here. What we should see, hopefully, is no event toast. We turned it off. All right. No scoring. In theory. In theory. Oh. Some of this stuff wasn't tested, but looky there. No points. No victory banner. No Nothing. Nothing. Okay, let's uh, let's fly into hostile space. Okay, let's see if we can get a bounty hunter to spawn up on us. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna fly in, and and to uh, the credit of what I'm seeing in the YouTube chat, some people are saying, "Well, does this require the PC version?" Yes, it does. Yes, it does. But uh, no one shall. One thing that we were talking about, and one thing that we've been working about over the last several days is exactly why Scopely has reached out. This is why we can definitively say that Scopely supports Ripper in this project. It's why we can definitively say that Scopely is aware of what's happening. By the way, no red banner that I'm trespassing. All right? Now, maybe that's because some because it didn't catch me that time, and I'm not going to get a bounty hunter spawn, except I just did. There it is. Okay? No banners. No banners. Okay, and we can check just to make sure that that's my bounty hunter. It sure is. No banners. All right, Ripper has given you what you've asked for. It's a powerful tool. Use it wisely. 
Use it wisely because this one can be dangerous. You can literally be raided and not know it. Live in the game. I'm already DJ. All right, you got to be careful with this. Uh, the reason that we can say that Scopely is aware of all this, because no one shall, you're exactly right. The end game here was to send all of this back to Scopely for what purpose, Ripper? Why would we send them the files for something we could just put in our own game folder? Why give so them... So the mobile players also get the benefits of bug fixes and quality of life right. improvements. And stuff what? Like Ripper, don't be silly. Basically, don't be, wait, don't be silly. What you're saying is... What you're saying is you're going to give Scopely code and you think they're going to put it in the iOS and Android versions? Hopefully. Except he's not wrong. He's absolutely right. Hopefully is the word. Hopefully is the conversation that even the Scopely engineers have already had with us. Where's the build menu? What? That's right His there. The build menu's gone. That's there. Oh. Probably because I had my ship management screen up. Oh. That is, is that new? No, that's always mm, happened. Okay. No. I've never paid attention. No, it's because you're, <laughs> you're, 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 you're so zoomed out. It's because you're so zoomed out. I've, ne I've never even paid attention to that. Okay. So, yeah, ship management, hide your build menu, and there you go. Okay. So, so yes, even the Scopely staff that we have actually met with, that we've actually spoken to, have indicated that their desire, okay, and obviously we've, we've met with, with one or two people. There's, there's many people. This has got to make it through. But the desire is that they can now take this. The file has been written. The code has been written. The, the issues identified. Okay, you know what, Ripper? When I saved that and closed it, it, it deleted all my comments. Look, all my hashtags are gone. That's unfortunate. That sucks. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep a different file. Oh, booger. I'm going to have to keep a different file with just the list of the banners. We will we'll do that, folks. We'll give you the entire list so that you can browse, you can shop, okay? Uh, we'll make sure that you've got that because, yeah, it took my hashtags. And, and no, I, I think I'm writing a file with some, I don't know. With some it's, instructions. It's it's not it's not the most polished kind of thing. It doesn't do runtime reloading of the config file, which I could do, but I just didn't have the time for it because I wanted to actually get the things in. So let's talk about that. And, all right. And and I've got some more bugs that, that Ripper wants to tell you about. Real quick, let me set player expectations on this. Within the next several minutes to 30 minutes, maybe 45, 60, whatever, whenever we get ready to wrap up the stream, this will be available for download along with instructions and this configuration file. You'll be able to get it all, okay? You'll be able to change whatever it is you want to change and blah, blah, blah. The reason that we didn't launch it on day one was because he had only had day one as far as, as work, okay? The reason he didn't launch he it on day on two. On day one. The reason he didn't launch it on day two is because he wanted to put more in it. He wanted to have a suitable set of repairs before we sent it out. So it's being launched today. Less than a week. What are we at? Five actual calendar days, I think. Then it come. It came yes, on so. Monday. Yes, so. Six. It came on Monday to us. I think it came on Tuesday to the rest of the galaxy. So in six days, Ripper has done all of this. Now, <clears throat> be just so you're clear, there are a few other things that, that we have on the to-do list that are not done. Uh, and the reason that we decided to do this stuff in, in this kind of bulk style is to be 100% transparent and make sure that everybody knows that this is not something that you can PM Ripper on, make a request, and expect it out in a day. There will not be, hear me now, people, there will not be a version 2 of this mod for a minimum of 14 days. Minimum. Hear me. Don't ask for it. The boy deserves a break. He never takes a break. He deserves it, and he is because he has personal, real-life things to do this week. So there will not be a second revision to this mod for 14 days. This is what you have. Will he continue to work on it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You've got this. Okay. Uh-oh. I got a station under attack, and I thought that I had disabled that. I think those are different, but I'm... Um... 
I think those are displayed like implemented differently. <clears throat> yeah, those station are not those banners because so, that's a full screen, full screen overlay kind of thing. Yeah, it was not a banner. It's not defined as a banner. So let's look. Station. Yeah. Okay, there's incoming attack would probably be for a ship. Uh oh, somebody killed my auger. Who's that? Hey Ripper, here's here's a question. See, Who look by the way, here's proof example. I'm in the game. Somebody killed my auger and I didn't even know it. Okay? Didn't even know it. I didn't see the banner. I didn't see the flashy. Uh whoever is parked next to me here. Who is this? Uh hey, what's up, Mr. Fusion? Thank you for gracing our stage. Uh Mr. Fusion, if you would please chase my ship. All right. Uh go ahead and ch chase the ship. Target the ship. All right, we've got red circles, no banner. Okay, we're going to let him kill it. We're not going to get a defeat banner. All right, there he is. I've been attacked. By the way, my phone just went off. I got the notification I've been attacked as, as far as a phone <laughs> notification. No banner in the game. All right, proof positive. Proof positive. Okay, so um, be careful. I mean, obviously, my ship died. I wasn't even... I was in game and didn't even see it happen. So, again, that's a dangerous one. You guys be very, very careful. Uh, there will not be a second version of this mod for at least 14 days. Other things are on our roadmap. You're right. Ripper does have a roadmap. Uh, we will be working on things. We will be also continuing. You guys got to remember, it's not just the mod we're sending out to you, but we're also now, now that we've got somewhat of a, of a product here of Mr. Ripper's, we're going to be also now working with Scopely on, on implementation and, and who knows how long that's going to take. I'd love to know that within 30 days, these fixes will be available in all three clients. I don't know if it'll be that fast, all right? But I do know that Scopely is 100% interested in deploying these fixes throughout all of their clients. That's why we're going to send the code so that the code can be backtracked. The code can be identified where it belongs in the iOS version and in the Android version so that these changes, these at least some of these bug fixes anyway, can be made available to players in mobile. Okay? It'll be available to players in mobile. Uh, Joker literally maybe just tuned in or missed the part where he says, is this dev supported or dev approved? Um... I am not going to go out so far as to say that the devs are encouraging you to use Ripper's mod. However, they know it's out there, and they are encouraging Ripper's work. Okay? So that is as far as we're going to say. We're going to make it available. Use it if you want. Don't expect to be raided out from underneath your nose and demand compensation from Scopely. It will not come. I guarantee... And for me, for me, not, for me neither. <clears throat> I'm not going to... No, if you choose to oh, use this, to then you're use you're a, you're a tester, okay? <laughs> all, all rights reserved, okay? If you use this, you are experimenting with with new code, and and nobody but you is responsible for anything that happens with it. All right, there will not be compensation given for anything by anybody. You have a choice. Live up to your choice and accept responsibility for your choice. And if you feel uncomfortable using this mod, by all means, do not use the mod. Okay? If you are uncomfortable, do not do it. All right? Um, so there you go. Now, Ripper, uh, let's take the next few minutes because we got more, right? Right now, we've just shown yeah. off some of the UI stuff. We have we have shown a couple of these early things that Ripper fixed on day one. Ripper, what else is on your list? Tell me what to do. What can I show these fine people next? Um, you can show the fixed faction one, which does a bunch of things, not only one thing. That does more than one thing. What's happening? Why are people fighting out here? <laughs> Fusion! Why not? He's because coming. They he's, can. He's, he's coming to help. <laughs> All right, fixed faction. Um, so what we are wanting to see. Oh, uh, by the way, yeah. See, okay. So this is not a traditional banner. Clearly, no. That's that's yeah. that's a warning overlay, full screen overlay thing. That's that's not a banner because you know you also have the things on the side. All right. Uh, let's take a look at my ship power in dock at four point six oh six. Take a look at my ship power. <gasps> Out of dock, 4.606. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wham, wait. No, Miracle. you're going to die. Wham, wait. <laughs> wait a second. Wham. All right. Wham's <laughs> going to die. But that's okay. Here's what we want to do, okay? Uh, Wham, I will, I will drop this to a cheaper ship, 
Okay, I'll drop it to a cheaper ship. Uh, let's put in a Sally. Now I'll do a Centurion. All right. Put a Rialta. <clears throat> now, here's what I want to demonstrate. All right, here's what I want to demonstrate. We've got our ship power in dock, 1.693. Somebody write this down, 1.693. Wham, go ahead, wham away, buddy. Hit that base. <clears throat> All right. Uh, he says lag got him. <laughs> Dang on lag. All right, go ahead and hit that base, 1.693. By the way, no banners. Wouldn't even know it, except I was... You know, I saw the ship go into damage. Now, let's check out this battle log. What should we see here, Ripper? What should we see in this battle log? If the ship power was 1.693 before... It should be higher because that will show including defensive research. All right, let's take a look. Which you have currently disabled because you have used out of dock power. Anyway. You're exactly right. You're exactly right, and Ripper's hypothesis is a reality. 1.693 was my ship power out of dock. 1.775 is my ship power with defensive research. This is now accurate. Accurate. Down to the if last you want drop. To see that number in dock, you have to use, set use out of dock power default. Correct. If you do want to see this number in dock, what he's talking about is this one right here. Set that to false. All right. Now, again, I really honestly don't know why you would to be perfectly honest with you, because now if I see this ship in dock and this is my power, all right, Fusion, would you stop? All right, people are coming into play test. All right, stop it. All right, now, if, um, if I see this ship power in my dock, all right, this is now the ship power that I can count on in Armadas. All right, this is my ship power I can count on in PvP. This is the ship power that I can count on for hostile hunting. This number is accurate. This is the right number. All right. So that's a great one. Uh, let's, Ripper, see if we can find a cheap upgrade to do. There we go. Let's work on this Centurion. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, there are researches in this game that at one time Scopely tried to come in and fix and make it so that they were no longer rebate. You guys recall? As a matter of fact, they did it for all of the generic researches, but there was a research ripper in which some kind of underlying bug made it impossible, they said, to accurately display cost savings and therefore would have to remain a rebate. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where is it? Right here. These pures. These pures right here. Federation gas pure. Romulan ore pure. And also the Federation, like the construction. Yeah, as I was looking for, I think I passed it up. Where is it? That's in... That's in Am I in the wrong tree? Station tree. I'm in the wrong tree. That's for the titanium and stuff. Right here. Resources. Oh, too far. Um, well, here's... No, that's four star. Yeah, ship structure. Ship yeah. structure. Okay. Now... If we wanted to get real nerdy about it, let's let's do this. We can do it on screen. I need somebody, Stevens Aaron, I need somebody to help me document because I am unable to, to document everything that I need. So uh, mainly because of hands and paper and so forth. All right. So uh, long story short, yep. I have Romulan ship structure. We're going to do this on a Centurion. All right. We're going to do this on a Centurion. I want to display right now uh, what we're going to be checking for is Tritanium. There is my Tritanium number. 115, 217,900, okay? That is the exact precise number that it should take, uh, or that I have, rather. All right, we'll do the same thing for Dilithium, 133,390,500. That is my exact count. Uh, we are going to come in here, and, of course, on Romulan ore, right here. So the gas one will be correct. Let's take a look here, Stevens Aaron, okay? I... I'm going to spend 160 gas. I have 598. I'm going to spend 35 gas. I have 570. Now, the reason <clears throat> that my gas is going to stay the same is that there is no Romulan gas research. Okay? Romulan research affects ore. So, my gas should be right. I'm going to spend 160. Stevens Aaron, that means that I should expect... 598 minus 160, I should, in fact, expect to only have 438, all right? However, here's the fun one. And by the way, I'm not going to math this out. We're just going to prove that it works. 
uh, 570, yeah. <laughs> okay, 570 is what I have. It says I'm going to spend 535. In the past, folks, this is the one where it would say you had to spend 35, but it would actually, uh, well, let me rephrase. It might say you had to spend 40, all right, but then it would only take 35 from your inventory. That was the quote-unquote rebate system, right, Ripper? Mm-hmm. It would display 40. As a matter of fact, I don't know. You know what? This would probably be really difficult. Does anybody happen to have? Does anybody happen to have a tier eight centurion that they could just look at a number? We, you will be able to see it real time in the display. If somebody could show me that it does, in fact, cost more than thirty five in your client, then we know Rippers fixed it right here. Does anybody happen to have a tier eight centurion that we could look at one of these weapons, or any any of these early ships? Wouldn't that- we well, have a general research. research that reduces that, which has to be identical for it to be 35. Yeah, that, yeah, well, no, I don't want it. I actually want. don't want it to, to necessarily be 35. I, yeah, I guess, you know what? Hell with it. We're just going to have to do and, the upgrade. Can you load the game from your phone? Uh, log in real quick from your phone. Oh, you're a genius. It. Great. You can, you can also disable the fix, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right, let's do that. Yeah. Let's, let's disable the fix. That way we can do everything on screen. 570, Stevens, Aaron. It's going to take 35. Yep. I've got screenshots. Okay, it's going to take 35. Let's exit the game. Let's exit the game. We're going to come into our configuration file. 1.7 million titanium, just, just saying, because there's also reduction for that. Yeah, I've, I've got a screenshot of it, so I've got it. Okay, now <laughs> uh, let's find it. Fix faction. We're going to change that to false, right? Yep. There we go. False. Save. Closing. Oh. You don't have to close the file. You can keep it open. You know what? My client didn't close either. That's kind of weird. Thought it did. Okay, let me check that. Let me check that patch file again. Make sure. Okay, fix faction is set to false. Okay, let's close it. Let's load it back up. Now, what we should see right here, folks, is that it's a an increase in power. Yeah. And an increase in cost. And an increase in cost, which is what I was driving at. So, uh, by the way, what we saw the defensive research made my my ship power. 1.7 something, right? So yep. I believe that's what we're going to see in doc. <laughs> yeah. There it is. No, this is without defensive research applied. That is just with affection. That's just what, oh, yeah, because what was it? Stevens, Aaron, it was like 1.7. Six, seven. one point seven seven, something like that. So we got a little bit extra there. All right, let's go in here. Look, see, I think somebody's rating me. My ship says repair. Is somebody don't raid me right now? We need exact titanium counts. <laughs> By the way, again, super dangerous. Okay. Oh crap! I just spent four hundred forty trite, Stevens, Aaron. Sorry to throw off your math. I just repaired a dock. It cost four hundred forty. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, let's go back uh, in. You're here. Good. You're All good. right. Let's go back in and looky there. There we go. Disabled faction. Now let's do this. Okay. We already saw yeah, that it was going to take thirty five. No. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. We already saw that it took 35. That is the also, correct number. Also 21 million yeah, so, titanium, just so FYI. Oh, yeah. 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 Did somebody screenshot that, screenshot that off my screen? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes. How much trite was it before? I think 14.7. 14.7. Guys, wow. All right. Now, again, this is just display. By the way, if you had done, if I did this upgrade right now, it's only going to take the fourteen yeah, million. It. That's what I mean. Do it now. Okay. Do it now, and then we can so, then we can show. Look, look there. See, Stevens, uh, Epic Neo is taking screenshots of my screen. All right, let's do this. I'm going to do oh, it. This one, do too. Boom, done. <laughs> All right. I think I just spent twenty one million and thirty eight rare ore. You had fifteen point two, so you should have about. Uh, let's let's reason. do the easy one first. A <laughs> hundred. Yes. Rare ore. Yeah, that's it. Wait a second. It said I spent 38. That's because the game has always taken the correct amount, but it did take 35, which means Ripper's client was correct. Okay, let's check the titanium. I've got 100,436,500 before uh, Stevens Aaron. What was my trite count before? Um, right before your repair, it was 115.2. 115.2, meaning that I just spent roughly 14.8-ish. 14.7. And 14.7, which means Ripper's client fixed it. 
fixed it. All right. Now, the server has always been correct. I've always maintained this. The server does not charge you too much, but it comes back in a rebate. It tells you you have too much, and here's the problem with that. If the client waits, what, what if I only had 15 million trite? And I know you guys have run into this. What if I only had 15 million trite, even though the server says it's only going to cost 14.7, but the client is demanding 22? What happens? Uh, it won't let you do it. It won't let you do it because the client you don't says enough. you don't have enough. It prevents you from doing it. Now, Ripper has allowed you to do more with less. And I don't mean it. It's not saving you anything. He is now giving you the opportunity to actually spend what you have instead of saving up for a buffer. It's like the existing client wanted to make sure that you'd have a few pennies left over afterwards. Ripper's like, nope, empty your pockets. <laughs> not exactly like that, but yeah. All right. So faction. There we go, Ripper. Nicely Although, done. Fixed action also fixes the issue that some people have experienced where in dock it shows a higher total cargo for their mining ships. When yes. They have researched the uh, faction specific cargo increases. Yep, and ladies and gentlemen, this one uh, I believe was specifically related to a brand new research. It's not been around very long over here in away teams. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was only affecting. Yeah, here it is. These researches right here. Federation hauler. So ops 41 and higher is who this was affecting. Yeah. Just Klingon hauler and Romulan hauler. What was happening is in dock, again, this faction tag was giving you the benefit of all three of these, which means your cargo was artificially higher in dock. But when you went into space, again, the server was correct. When you went into space, it would show proper. All right. But when you were in dock, it was showing too high. All right. Faction fixes that. Faction fixes a lot of things. All right. Lots and lots of things. Also, I think mining speeds for a certain mining ship. Oh, oh yeah. Mining speeds. Uh, again, I, when I haven't, when I haven't looking, tested and I don't do mining, so I don't know. When you're looking <laughs> in dock, that, that, that answers the fact. It also the answers the fact that pe when people are so confused about a spend event, spend materials, oh, I spent, it says I spent 500 rare ore, but I only got points for this amount. Yeah, you only got points for 470 because your research yeah. took it down and you, you didn't expect that. Your client told you 500. No, right. All right. And, and by the way, somebody does say that. Thank you, Stevens, Aaron. You, you point out in the spend event before, by the way, I still only got 35. You don't get points for the 38, even before the mod. You get points for what is yeah. actually debited from your account. All right. So this is now going to make it match. Well done, Ripper. What's next? What else we got? I mean, again, yeah, faction affects a lot of things, and I think the next thing we have is the uh, fixed ISS Jelly Warp. ISS Jelly Warp, okay. Um, that actually technically includes a bit more than just Warp, but I named it Warp because that's the primary thing that I think... Well, tell us a little bit about it, Rip. Yours is um, in DJ. Yeah, I see it. It's damaged. Now I'm going to have to repair it. <laughs> you guys are making oh, me no, repair it. Man. All right. Spending all that all that hot on tritanium. I know. I've, how much tritanium have I blown on screen now for you guys? Dang it! All right. <laughs> like almost twenty million or something. Twenty million trite. Right. Yeah, it's not. It's not going to kill me. It's fine. But yeah. All it's right. Fine. All right. Let's check jelly warp. Now I don't want to go anywhere with a real long warp, but uh, let's give it at it's least a couple space. of minutes. I don't want to give it that long. All right. I don't want to give it that long. You can cancel it. That's, um, you that's have not how the jelly bug just... worked. <laughs> the gel, oh, that's not. A, that's not how the. That's how the. Beforehand. That's how the Stella yeah, yeah, bug yeah. worked. Okay, the jelly bug was actually a little bit different. The jelly bug would show you showing up too early. All right. Mm -hmm. Um. And and but if to my mistaken, did, did warp cancel fix the jelly bug? Because I didn't think it did. I think the jelly bug was not just as simple as a warp cancel. It was still jacked up afterwards. Wasn't there? I'm almost sure. Um, I don't know. I think it was still jacked up. Here, somebody, uh, let, let's see if but I can... But warping from your base in the ISIS, do you have to fix on just an FYI, so it's going to be correct now. Yeah, it, it, long story short. Two minutes, 54 seconds, plus a five-second charge. All right, let's do it. Uh, when will I actually show up in system? All right. Neo says the timer was always correct, but it was, it, it like, 
it would display that you were impulsing, so you thought you were in the system, right? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to watch. When my display actually shows impulse, I should be able to view the system, right? That's what we're saying. You can, oh, you can view the system already. Uh, I should be able to locate, all right? Let, let, we'll use locate to better, better exemplify. If I can locate the ship and it shows just sitting on this, on this galaxy map, even though this is an impulse, then we know it's not, not fixed. If, in fact, this goes to impulse, and then I click on locate, if it takes me into the system, we're fixed. We're fixed. All right. Same thing for Stella, by the way. Same exact thing for Stella. Now fixed. Your yeah, timers. You can just view the system. We can see when it arrives because it didn't actually show up in the system. Okay. I Yep, yeah, that's another way we can do it. That's cool. We'll come down here to our entry point. There it is. All right. We should see within the next probably minute and 30 seconds at, at least. Let's see how far it's taken me into the system. And the By jelly the is slow. Includes, oh, includes man. Impulse, so who knows? Well, yeah, but look, it's all the way across, yeah. and it's in a jelly, so it's probably going to show up here. I bet you that is – that's a 55-second impulse. So I'm going to guess yes. – I'm going to guess that we <laughs> pop in here. I'm going to guess that we pop in around 105-ish. 105 105-ish. Maybe, possibly. Possibly. That, that, by the way, is just a guess. We're going to see. We're going to play a game. Let's play a game. Also, is it bad when I say I haven't tested any of those fixes? <laughs> Ripper is so confident. <laughs> Ripper is so confident in his release. Boom! Oh, 113. That, man, that jelly is even slower than we gave it credit for. 113 just to get 80% through the system. I am going to kill that scout. Um, if I can catch up to it sometime during the show. <laughs> okay. One hour later. Yeah, one hour <laughs> later, still chasing the scout with my jelly. So, uh, by the way, as soon as it crossed impulse, we were in the system. Okay, bug fixed. Bug fixed. Ripper, what else? Was there anything else in our first run? Let's let's take a look. Uh, did we do anything visually with battle logs? Uh, no. That's on the roadmap. Um, that is maybe on the roadmap. I'm not. I'm not. That one's going to be one hundred percent sure that. I want to invest the time in it because that one's, that one's going to be tough. That one will be a really um, hard one because that's um, let's just say a pain with the way the, with the capabilities I have available. <laughs> it's kind of a pain to actually get done. If I had source code access and could do this in in the editor, then oh, well, it would be relatively it. simple. Way I'm trying to get to my scout. That's my level thirty four scout. <laughs> 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 he saw the scout and he came. All right. um, I, Commander Green, Green Knight, I don't test. I, I just fix. <laughs> DJ is testing. Yeah, I, I've, I've been doing some of the <laughs> testing. All right, Rip, uh, did we have anything else that made it into version one? We do have a roadmap, guys. We, it is... we have the, like the fixed Stella thing. That the Stella, done. yeah. I, I don't. Do we need to test that on screen because we just did it with the jelly? I mean, it also shows correct power in station now. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Let's do that. All right. Does it fix the health problem? Like when you come back yes. to the station? Yep. Says, oh, cool. um, yes. Okay. So here, let's try to test this. Um, hmm. All right. This is going to take a couple minutes. I'm going to go ahead and fly to exchange space. I'm going to get near death. You could just jump. Oh, God. Huh. You're going to make me spend goo on top of 30 million trite? Thanks, guys. Yes. Thanks, you, you guys. Get some, you get some today. You get some today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, all right. Let's load up. Let's load up the disco jumper. The country says you're missing so many armadas. <laughs> I need to go do armadas. I haven't even finished my event. Well, you, you don't get any notifications anymore. I know. I, I can't see the notifications, big. How am I supposed to know? See, again, guys, be careful with that. There's probably a few of those. I'm going to go back and turn back on. Just a couple, not a bunch. And yes, yes, and uh, that's, I, I think I think I picked I picked a good amount of um, important, easy to fix bugs that have been annoying many, many people, and many people have um, <laughs> complained or mentioned them in various places often. Yeah, this, this has been uh, just like I like I refer to as housekeeping. This is just 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 clean up, clean up on aisle six. Okay, uh, so I am uh, I'm pleased with with what we've got here. Ripper, was there anything else that we put into version one? I think that was about it, right? We got we got the no, I think, yeah. Oh, you know what? Here was another one. Let me uh, let me let me do this one. Uh, here, let's go into Penundra. P -p 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 can't say this one. 
All right, let's summon in. I'm going to zoom out completely, 100%. I'm going to summons in because uh, we're going to test two bugs at once here. I'm going to start killing and we'll start killing stuff. But Ripper, while I'm doing that, I'm going to claim an event prize. I'm going to claim my event prize. Yay, I summon. So I get some, I get some goo back and then I come back and it's sticky, everybody. It doesn't zoom back in all the way to here like it does all the freaking time. Okay. It keeps my zoom, which I'm super happy about. All right, super happy about. Uh, let me field a question from the audience. VGO says, question, why is Ripper not employed by Scopely? A, they can't afford him. Okay. B, it might be a little bit selfish. <laughs> Sorry, what were we? Might were be we a little bit selfish, but <laughs> if Ripper did go take a job for Scopely, then he would have to leave us. And I feel like at least at least that is very likely. Yeah, and I feel yeah, like I feel like we would miss right. having him around. That said, if Scopely came and offered Ripper a quarter million dollars a year to run their run their department, I would tell him to go. Ripper, would you would you, would you take the, would you take the gig for a quarter mil? Yeah. yeah, I would too. I would. Yeah, absolutely. But here's a question: Scopely won't pay. Go ahead. Hey, is there? You know how we used to have the carousel fix? Like if you're in the officers and you click on one and then go back, it would keep it the same spot. Is that a UI thing you can do too eventually? He's probably thinking. He's asking about yeah. sticky carousel ripper. Meh. Because they had it at one point, then they <laughs> broke it. Meh. Uh, he says meh. Uh oh, somebody's coming to kill me. Don't kill me. I I don't need to be. I can't be dead. I need to be mostly damaged. <laughs> no, no, I don't I, think you I need just, mostly damaged. Uh, I think you just have to be quite a bit mostly damaged. Mostly dead and still slightly alive. I was gonna say I need to be. Alive. Yeah, but he would have killed me. He's dead. a level fifty, bro. Okay, I need to be. Yeah, I need yeah, to yeah, be yeah. slightly alive. <laughs> Princess Pride reference. <laughs> I need to be Miracle barely. Bears. I need to be barely hanging on for dear life. All right. And I need 40s. Let me have the 40s for a minute. He's killing all the 40s. I'm going to be here for 30 minutes. All right. <clears throat> uh, questions from the audience. Ripper, I think that, that about does it, right? So what we need to do next is very briefly, we've explained how to use the, the TOML file. What we need to probably do next very quickly is show people how to, to, to use this, what you're going to get. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to bring over this screen, which is, um, let me make sure I'm not showing anything that I, that I really don't want to be showing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I, I bet you guys can't see that. That is so small. Can I make this big? Uh, That's what she said. Literally no idea. I don't know either. You can control zoom on it, DJ, if you do this like normal. No, it's not working. Control mouse wheel in the, in the wait, file wait. itself. Who's getting to the adult table? What? Huh? All right. I see what you're talking about. The country? What? All right. Uh, look very quickly, guys. All right. What you're first going to need to do, the first thing you're going to need to do is identify where the PC game is downloaded. I, I chose a special location. Okay. What, you're just going to have to find it. Hopefully, you can find it. You're going to need to find where the game is installed. Prime.exe is your game executable. Okay, you're saying I got to change my resolution. I'm not going to do that because that'll affect everything else. All right, so sorry, you're just going to have to deal with with what you see. Okay, um, th that'll help, but that that's too big. All right, here here's what you guys need to look for. Okay, you need to find where you've put the game. Okay, and Hani says most likely it's going to be in C colon slash game slash Star Trek Fleet Command slash STFC slash default slash game which is what i did i just put mine on an external drive no no one that is the wrong location yeah i know i'm looking right now okay so you need to find where the game is all right when ripper makes his downloadable you're going to have in it three items one of which is going to be a write-up for documentation three? you told me you were doing a write-up for documentation yeah. right yes I i'm working on it okay you're gonna have one for a write-up <laughs> with documentation It'll probably just be in a notepad file, okay? It will hopefully explain or give a recap of what these settings here 
are going to do. And probably, I think Ripper also said he was going to put in all of the fact- or all of the banner types for you to be yep. able to, to copy and paste from or choose which ones you want, which ones you don't. Yep. Okay? So that's going to be in a notepad file. The second file is going to be this TOML file, which is actually, again, you can open it in notepad so you can make your changes and put in your banners. You can change your UI scale if you want. You can change your keyboard zoom. You can turn off the jellyfish warp fix if you want. You can do all that. Okay? This TOML file is where you will actually enact some of the stuff that you want to customize. And the third file will be this. Version.dll. Version.dll. Do not try to open it. Do not try to decompile it. Do not try to edit it. It will not open in anything. Okay? I mean, you, you can try if you want. I mean, want. you can try. You can try if you want. But it, do it, it, you want. it ain't going to come into it ain't gonna come in anything that, that's good. Okay? Um, so, and, and that's why, for example, we can't just send this DLL over to Scopely. Like, Ripper's going to send all of his work. Like, all the actual raw code and everything. All right, so those are the three files that are going to come in some type of, of maybe a compressed file or, or you know, a shareable folder or whatever, okay? What, whatever it's going to be. You're going to get the TOML. You're going to get a notepad, which I, I don't have the documentation file because he hasn't written it yet, uh, and then the DLL. The DLL is the actual mod. All you got to do is put these files in the same folder where your prime.exe is, okay? And then go. Start the game, and your mods will be active. Very easy. Very simple. Even without a Tomify, file, it will Even have with, some default. That's right. Even without the Tomify, file, uh, I, I believe, Ripper, if I'm not mistaken, with the exception of the banners, with the exception of banners, these are and, the... And it's out of dog powers, default defaults currently, but I can change it. Oh, well, okay, that's fine. Leave it. Whatever you think is best. Uh, right now, everything you see here except for use out of dock power is going to be your default. So if you don't want to change anything, then don't change anything. You know, you don't have to. You're still going to get the benefits of the bug fixes. You're still going to get the benefits of, of everything here. You'll get the benefit of full screen. You'll get the benefit of F11. You'll get the benefit of a scalable UI. You're going to get all those benefits even if you don't change anything in the TOML file. All right, so you can you can take advantage of these by just putting the without customizing anything for yourself. Just copy the the DLL in, and you don't have to worry about a TOML file because this yep. stuff is is by default. The TOML file is just there if you want to modify it. Okay, there you go. Questions for Ripper or myself or anybody else. Grudging Sue says, I know even with how easy it sounds, I'm going to mess this up somehow. Uh, Here's the good news. If for whatever reason you do feel like you messed something up, all right, all you got to do is remove the DLL from that folder. Okay? That's it. If you want to go back to to Scopely stock version, delete the DLL. Okay? Uh, Bubba, you were going to ask a question. Go ahead. So are you going to talk about what, what is on the roadmap? Because I'm curious as to what we might you know see in a month. Uh, the- um, I want to fix Pike so that it doesn't affect cargo uh, anymore. And, and warp. And, ooh. Yep. And again, okay. the visual stuff. So, so Pike will actually reflect I want to change, want to the-, change the warp path calculation. Yes. Um, to... Let's, uh, as a matter so of fact, right Ripper, now, I found that pe- the other day. That was crazy because I'd never really noticed that. And then it so, happened. So currently the warp path calculation in the game um, picks the shortest path time-wise. Um, that is fine <laughs> yes. and all good. But if you do not have the required warp range, then it will still pick the shortest time-wise path to show you the required warp and not the path that requires the lowest warp. Warp distance. I think I need a which is what we, which is what we figured out with HDFC.space because it was showing us a, a higher warp than what we actually what the lowest warp needed for the system. Yes. And I'm trying to What's find. I found an example of this. 
<clears throat> and I that I have seen a lot of people um, okay. ask about this, complain about this in official Discord. I don't know, don't know how many people in here have complained about this or were confused about this and, and why, what is what. But I think that's a bug that shouldn't be shouldn't be in the game, and yeah, I think should be fixed. So I will be, I will be fixing that one as well. I can't find where it was. And I think that's as far as like. Actual, here it is. Like, here it is. Here it is. Nope. 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 That's not it. Jason uh, Henderson had a question on YouTube. What happens if Scopely updates the PC client and it breaks your work, Ripper? Um, I have put a lot of effort into it so that it doesn't break. Won't break. And then, like, knock on. Knock and then on wood. Hugo's asking um, DJ, um, if you would build a ship, where would it? Where would the new bar appear? Same place. Same place. It's gonna. It's gonna come out here to the side. So I'll build you a ship. Uh, but it, it's gonna He's show been the same that place. for a while now. Yeah, it's not gonna stack five deep. Again, we haven't changed the actual structure. <laughs> we haven't changed anything about about the no. the. As it, so so essentially, how this is implemented? You have in, in Unity, you have Canvas. And a canvas has a canvas scalar, and I just changed the scale factor of the canvas root, essentially. <gasps> Ripper. What? Ooh. <laughs> it went, well, yeah, that's that usually like sometimes fits. I don't know. No, it, 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 went, it went five hey, deep. Hey, hey. Well, let's now scrap scrap something. A ship. Now scrap a ship. Scrap I'll, something. I'll scrap something. Is that because the scalable UI gave you enough room? It's got to yeah, be. It, it, it it's try it's it I think that list actually goes a bit higher and then it, it lays it out how it fits or tries to. Just grab a fortune, DJ. They're quick. Right. So you don't waste it. I can't rebuild. Can you still? Uh, I still use my fortunates. Can you re still get fortunate here? No, yeah, I'm going to scrap this one. Yeah, I'll scrap that. One. <laughs> it don't matter. They're right. not Rialtas. <laughs> Oh my god. Because um, Ripper, because we've scaled it, it's given more room within this element. Yeah. Nice. Oh wow. That's awesome. Well, guys, that um, that is gonna have something to do with this. All right, so maybe don't mess with that. <laughs> because what we've done fixes. Yeah, what we've done here, what Ripper's done is by creating the, the ability to Whoa. to shrink the UI elements. Which is what this is. These elements are only fifty nine percent of the size that Scopely designed. By shrinking them by that forty one percent, we've actually given this entire frame more room to stack well, these elements. We were talking about basically... roadmap type of things. Um, yeah. So, I'm, so my my primary focus is on actually fixing fixing actual bugs in the game. You know, like like UI and quality of life is, is all nice and well, but it's not not really what I'm mostly interested in. I want to fix bugs. So I'm also going to try and look into um, if I can maybe... I've noticed that sometimes scanning takes a very long time on the PC client, and I'm not entirely sure why, because I know their, their API is a lot more responsive than how long it takes to scan in, in the PC client. I want to look into that. Maybe I can do some tweaks there for somehow. Probably just a little delay in there. Um, I don't know, but what kind of other bug fixes are like important? Um, I don't know. We'll see what whatever flows into into what I want to do. I guess I, I was I was looking into into changing how certain UI elements are, are sized, but it's I don't know. I'm not not entirely convinced yet that I'm gonna do it because it's 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 a lot of work with the way I, I have to do it because I have I to look up every UI element myself and then modify the modify the anchor points and stuff. What he's referring I think this to. The client gave Ripper the power to do things he wanted to do for a long time. I don't, I don't hmm? disagree with that. I don't disagree with that a lot uh, at all. Uh, what what Ripper is referring to? One of the things that we had identified as potentially a project. Uh, was right here because if you guys remember on the stream the other night, and of course I only got four ships in this one, but if there were five or six ships, even though we have all this space, we still uh, – that's somebody hitting my base. Here's an armada. There we go. Even though we have all this space, it was still a constrained window where you had to scroll to see the six ships. Uh, per request, we did look into this. Uh, Ripper is telling me that these elements, these frames – are are a lot more complicated than what they just appear to be. 
Okay, so this is something that if Ripper was going to do this, would take a lot of time. And 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 it was my encouragement that told him, don't tackle anything big right now. Let's get out as much. You know, Ripper, that's what we were talking about the other night. Let's let's do the little stuff, the easy stuff. Let's get it out there um, and and let people start enjoying some of this stuff. And then if and when, for example, uh, I will go ahead and tell you. I asked Ripper, how possible is it to export a battle log? All right. Ripper's response is, F you, DJ. Not doing it. All right. We can get into the conversation about why another time. Those of you who were here Friday night uh, got a an uncensored version of that conversation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you got an uncensored version of that conversation. But the long and short of it is, it's way mucho amounts of work. And it's not a project that Ripper feels passionate about. All right. That being said, I think. Also, that, remember, I do not get paid for this at all. You, it, that was going to be <laughs> so, my next thing. That was going to be my next thing. Folks, be very, very patient. As we've already said, there's not going to be another revision to this for at least two weeks. All right. At least. And, and be cognizant of the fact that even if you ask Ripper for something, he is 100% within his rights to tell you no. All right. I can promise you. Let me let me tell you how much I value we'll pay this him man. Lots of money. I'll tell you. Well, that's the thing too. I offered Ripper a thousand dollars to when we're done with all this. I've offered Ripper a thousand dollars to write me a custom Ultimate DJ's mod where where we're gonna change we're gonna change a lot of fun stuff. All right, <laughs> we're gonna have fun with it. Okay, um, but that's after all the that's after all the real work is done. When work is done, then we can play. We're going to play. And, yeah. yes, I offered him $1,000, and he even told me it may not be enough. I'm okay with that, all right? A, because I value what he does. So I'll, I'll pay it. Uh, secondly, if Ripper tells you no, that's, that's the answer. And, and I will say this because of how much I value and respect this man. If I see, and, I, and I'm sure this would never happen because we're all grown adults, but if I see anybody berate this young man, because he decides that he does not want to invest into your request. And I see the first person flying off the handle. Yeah, you are gone. I, there will not be questions. There will not be hesitation and there will not be thought. All right. Don't so do that now on his Discord yeah, too. <laughs> you, you treat him with the respect that he deserves. All right. If he, he told me that he did not want to work on battle logs, you know what? I have not asked him about battle logs since then. He said no. He told me why. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. And it better be for anybody within this Discord. Warning issued. I will not have anybody going to town on this young oh, man. Big if country. They, yeah. Okay. That's right. <laughs> big country says, now I've got my way out. There you go. Ripper, he's going to go nuts on you. Okay. Uh, I, all I'm saying is, guys, you remember, Ripper does not work for Scopely. He does not answer to you, and everything that is happening here is because he has chosen to give it to you. All right. Jason Henderson says, hey, bring up uh, another question. When you resize the window, does it remember for the next time you open it, or do you have to resize again? Actually, yes. You will have to resize again. Uh, if you guys notice, I'm in full screen. I will exit. Uh, I'll exit the game. I have noticed this. I haven't even mentioned that, it to Ripper because it doesn't matter to me. That's something I didn't get to. I've noticed that myself. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter that's to something me. something I didn't get to. Well, so maybe maybe it's something he wants to look at later. It's not uh, it's not a huge priority. I didn't even ask him to, to do it on the roadmap. Uh, it, it does apparently come back, um, you know, initially for a second. You guys saw it was full screen for a second, but then, like, Scopely's, like, it, it like, overrides to, like, this probably 85 or 90% of the screen. Okay? Not a big deal. I am willing to click a button and press F11. Like, that. that's not going to it's not going to mod break me. that was created in, in a couple of days with, I think, quite quite a big list of, of changes. Quite yeah, a few I mean, really, when you think about um, we've asked Scopely for, for two years in some cases for some of this stuff. And, and let me be clear, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, issue this disclaimer because Ripper and I have had this conversation, uh, and we've had this conversation with Scopely. Um, Ripper and I are not under any illusion that Scopely is incapable of fixing this stuff. 
And we've never really believed that, even though we might tease about it or even though we might joke that something gets through QA, all right? We've never been under the illusion that Scopely is incapable of fixing this stuff. We believe that Scopely has, uh, that their developers have bosses. We believe that they've got projects and timelines, and we believe that they're told what to work on, just like any real job. All right? Yeah. Um, what I believe is so fascinating about this project and, and Scopely's interest in what Ripper has done is unorthodox. Most companies are not going to take their own product code from a consumer and impl- implement it into their game. But because of Ripper's relationship, and this, by the way, feeds into one other warning. For those of you who have game modded before and decide that you want to start modding this game, Take two or three things into account. One, Ripper has the support of Scopely because Ripper has always had the support of Scopely. Take that into consideration. Ripper has been under contract with them for what? Almost three years now, right? Longer than I, me. No. Longer than DJ, yes. Longer than me. Um, just, and I I, and I'm, I'm over two years now. Well, no. And, you know, uh, be- even before I was officially a content creator, I've been under... That's true. Before he was purple, he was identified by Long, long before I was purple, actually. <laughs> Very long before. Okay. So, so be aware that Ripper has a working relationship and has had for, mon- for, for a long time. There's a trust element there between Ripper and Scopely. All right? If you go in and start that's, tinkering with a mod, proven. if you go in and start tinkering with a mod, uh, be aware, depending on what you are modding, Scopely will know. All right. As a matter of fact, fun story. Uh, Ripper, I don't know. Should I tell this story? It's okay, right? What? About that what one story? time that, that Ares blew you up in that private meeting. So here's what happened. Ripper was experimenting with something one night. <laughs> Ripper, <laughs> Ripper was experimenting with something yes. one night. And I don't remember what the scenario was, but your IP was not your normal IP. All right. Scopely, oh, what's my normal IP? What was it that was different about that? Oh, like, uh, I remember that. Yeah. So Ares calls a meeting the next morning uh, and says, hey, Ripper, does this happen to be your IP address? And Ripper's like, yeah, please ask them to unlock it. And, and <laughs> me and no one are like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> yeah. And it's because Scopely identified a, a, what they referred right. to as a massive data stream <laughs> I remember that a massive that. data stream attached to to Ripper's IP address and they immediately blocked his his access they, they blocked his port access to the game he couldn't even log in no shield all right he had to get onto a different device and VPN just so he could throw up a shield all right he was banned from the game Scopely knows they do watch they do monitor and so if you are going to experiment, you need to realize that you are not Ripper. All right? And also, you, depending on what you do, you can get your not only your IP band, but also your in-game account. That, so that's right. That's, that yeah, you hear the grin. IP, you, can, you can sort of change, but getting your account band is kind of terrible. You, you, hear, you hear what Ripper, you hear that grin from ear to ear. You can get banned too. <laughs> all right? So be careful in what you're trying to do here. Now, for those of you who are like me and don't understand the world of modding, let me, let me put this in terms that, that are simple. All right, and Ripper, correct me if I'm wrong. Can modding in the in, not this mod, not Ripper's mod, but can modding uh, make it possible for somebody to quote unquote cheat? Well, that depends on what on what they're doing. Keep in mind that the client is merely a UI. All right, that is one advantage that that Scopely has in this game that makes it extremely difficult to cheat because you cannot change anything on the server side. You cannot make it cheaper for your ship to upgrade. You cannot make it uh, you cannot change your impulse speed to to 5000. You cannot change your warp speed. You cannot change your ship power. Everything that is transaction based in this game is server side. So no. Okay? No. They cannot cheat in the actions of this game. What could be done? All right, not that I probably should want to give anybody ideas, but we all remember 
Scotty's workshop. Okay? That was a mod used for evil. All right? Well, it impacted yeah. <laughs> client side transactions. Andar says display stuff. Well, what else could be display? What else could be considered display? That was more of a hack, right? A more of a hack. Oh, it was. It was for sure. Going. Absolutely it was. Yeah. But what else can we see, folks? Wait, Ripper, where's mine? What? Did we inadvertently turn off alliance tags? <laughs> no, that's all right. That Did we? <laughs> I don't see. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> I have, I have zero alliance mates. <laughs> Wait, Big, did you boot me? <laughs> Let's make sure. No, okay, still wearing a tag. Just making sure. Okay. Um, um, however, I guess. Uh, okay, we'll we'll look into that. We'll look into that. Uh, however, this brings up a this brings up exactly what I was going to talk about because I asked Ripper this, so th this makes sense. Ripper was probably looking to make sure that something couldn't be used for evil here. Yes, folks, modding can be used for evil. All right. Be aware before you download or accept a mod from anybody else. Be aware before you before you start creating something of your own. If you intend on being evil, you will be discovered. Okay? And and Scopely has made it extremely and abundantly clear that they will not tolerate the the mods being used for evil. At least they did to us. Okay? So no malicious intent. No malicious intent. You guys, I mean, if you're going to get in here and create something, how about you contribute to the betterment of humanity? All right? Of your gameplay. Of your, your current game player user. <clears throat> All Currently, right. it's probably best to read the terms of service and accept that modifications are technically not allowed. That's true. And, and, and that's why I say, and that's why I say, in this particular case, if you're not comfortable using it, don't. But do know and understand that Ripper's unique an exclusive relationship with Scopely is the only reason, the only reason why we are openly advertising it and making it available for all to download within the official podcast of Star Trek Fleet Command. I can assure you people, we would not be openly discussing it here if Scopely said, oh, hell no. Okay? Just just as an FYI. Okay? Just FYI, you yeah. Um, Stella is in, in Doc again. And oh, okay. Mass. Yeah, okay. Mass Here's, yep, 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 yep. So let's let's go back here. All right. Stella, you guys can see the uh, hull and Doc. And we're out in space, and it's the same. Oh, my God. And we're going to recall, and it's the same. Okay. All right. So there you go. All right. And and Joker, to your point, you you write Ripper's relationship with Scopely is currently exclusive. Another coder could also build a relationship with them, and I don't disagree. Uh you got three years of making up to do. Okay. Uh as a matter of fact, Hugo has the better idea. Folks, content creators and moderators have always been your volunteer based community interaction or your connection to Scopely. If you want to create a mod if you have an idea for a mod if you want to do something in any way shape or form that gets you in touch with scopely my recommendation is work through the infrastructure that's already in place okay it to great to hugo's point he said what if somebody makes a mod could we send it to ripper to to have scopely evaluate it i suppose that's going to make ripper the first line of defense and he is going to reserve the right to consider your mod or not. Okay? So I guess that depends on how adamant you are about your mod. If Ripper doesn't like it, then you can try other channels. If Ripper does like it, then maybe he passes it up. What we do know is that Scopely is paying a lot of attention to the work that Ripper's doing right now. And for that, we are grateful. It's a very good thing. Now, Chala says, let's talk about this. Is there a way to do a mod to the refinery to increase payouts by ops? No. Nope. Sorry. That is server-based. And that's why, in this particular case, I like the fact that a lot of this stuff is server-based because it really, I mean, you, you, can't, you can't mod your own game to be better. Everything is, is server-based. We're talking about just, talking about just, 
what you can see. UI improvements. UI improvements or, or bug fixes within, within the client that display things wrong. All right. By the way, by the way, let's give him this, Ripper. Finally and definitively, guess what Ripper has solved? Not even within his own mod, but by using the tools available uh, or by using the information available within this client, we have now 100% officially and definitively solved the protected cargo bug. Jesus. And I'm just hopefully going to figure it out. We can't. We can't implement it because that is a server side problem. You see where the, where the transactions happen. We can't fix the protected cargo bug because it's server side. However, now we definitively know how to fix it. And with the work that Ripper has done and with the attention that he has gained from the engineering department, Ripper now has a direct contact. Ripper can now pick up the phone and reach a person who writes code. Billy from accounting. Billy's cousin, <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne from engineering. Okay. <laughs> we got Billy from so, accounting. We got Dwayne from engineering. So now Ripper can, can l- let's say that a bug happens, protected cargo bug happens. If Ripper can diagnose it, now he can literally actually talk to somebody instead of me filling out a report or even ripper filling out a report and it going somewhere lost uh, not transmitted to the trash can to the shredder whatever all right i mean here's the thing Uh, in part of this conversation the other day we discussed ripper right how we we had testing we had data to provide but but we have never been able to get it to the right person there's so much corporate bureaucracy sometimes that person A is not going to be able to get to person B with the information that's pertinent to person B, even though the information comes from person A. Well, now Ripper has a person. Just like I've got a person over in ops, Ripper has a person in engineering now. We all have a person. Well, we do. All right. And now, but, but you know what? Here's the thing, no one. Nobody has ever had a person in engineering. No, Nobody that's that's has ever true. had a person who writes code. We've got a hotline. First. we got a hotline. So if things like this happen in the future, and again, you got to think with engineering stuff, it's not overnight or next day okay sometimes it even requires a client or or a maintenance okay so but you know what protected cargo has been around since we would have figured out i think we're actually celebrating this month right it was released with the launch of the galaxy tree so we're celebrating its two-year anniversary now but it was reported with information back in december by the way the information that we gave them in december ripper were you right all along it's, yes. okay, it's okay to say yes. The information yes. that we gave them in December did, in fact, actually prove to be the exact problem. All right? So the solution was provided, but it never made it where it needed to go. Well, maybe that changes now. Brian says, does the mod show actual reputation gains from hostels? We have not even looked at that. No, that was not something that we, that we looked at changing. Um, I don't know if Ripper wants to put that on the roadmap. To me, that seems really, really small. What you see on your ship screen is, is I guess, the, the base amount, but you've got research or you've got an exocom. Actually, the exocomps did actually reflect, so I'm not sure where that is breaking down. If Ripper's what? interested, we could look at that. The amount of ship XP, or sorry, not ship XP, I'm an idiot, uh, rep. The amount of rep that you get. And, and again, I don't think so because the ships themselves, the ships themselves show the base value. What you actually get is impacted by research. So keep yeah, in mind, I mean, these types of labels, I, I, that I don't think you're going to, I don't think we're going to get into. Technically, that can be fixed, but <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to build it in. Maybe, maybe we can talk to the people that's scoping about it. And, and to that point, I, I want to bring this up too. For example, the, the rare the, ships do impact it. The rare G4 ships. They do reflect the, the yeah, accurate it's a bit, amount. It's a bit, no, the, um, G, the G4 rares 
impacted as well. So it's like impact yeah. there and with there's the a loop bonus. Well, yeah, there's there's a loop bonus because yeah, it's a rap it's is a bit source ship it's dependent, which makes it a bit. Um, yeah, um, rip is a loop bonus. Yeah, rap rap is impacted yeah, by loot. So because it, because it effect is it also affected by a ship that is a bit more difficult because if you have static things, yeah, and like, and also like anything that is affected by an officer is is a bit more difficult to show on the target because then you have to take the source ship into account, which makes this a bit. Listen, more, Melly, it's not it, it's not quite as more. big as you might think because you are getting it. It, it, again, server side calculations have always been correct. You're not not getting it. No, you, still, not... you still kind of want to see how much you actually get without calculating it. Well, that, um, I guess that I, be... I can see why that. I listen. I, I'm. Let's cool just with... say we're gonna. I'm gonna look into it when I'm when I'm back, and then there you go. I'm away next week, so an investigation will ensue. There you go. Okay, and and that's what so... that's what Rippers is going to do for you guys, and and if he decides that that's what he wants to do. Then, then we'll support him in doing that. Okay, um, <clears throat> Ian DJ. writes. Uh, Ian writes great work, Ripper. Thank you. By the way, yes. Go ahead, Bubba Joe. So uh, something that's currently available in BlueStacks and would be completely uh, uh, UI related uh, would be something like hotkeys. Is that something that is going yes. to be that nearly impossible? No, that's that, on is, the list? that is a minus. How about Woo-hoo. screenshot button? I, I didn't even hear button. what Ripper had to say. What did you say, Rip? It's on my list. It's on the list. Of things to do. On the list of things to do. All right. I mean, he already added two keyboard shortcuts for zooming, which is great. And and he fixed the – Bubba, I don't know if you were here earlier. He fixed the system momentum that you and I were talking I, about. I, I saw that. That was awesome. Yeah. Fixed the system momentum or the mouse click momentum. And, and by the way, also, also it works bait. in dock. Oh, God. It works in dock. Look, no more mandatory drift. It just, yeah, that I fixed. It's uh, a different different fix, but I also fixed that one. Oh, because I mean, you it's can drift, all right. But if you if you notice, <laughs> if you notice in the PC client that you have right now, you even if you keep your mouse still and you release the click, it forces drift. Oh my god, it's terrible. It's terrible. All right. Ah, uh, N twenty three. You know what? That was one I forgot to ask about. Ripper, did we have a chance? To adjust scroll speed in chat, no, it doesn't look like we did yet. All right. No. Uh, by well, the way, a scopely engineer already <clears throat> said they're working on it, so I didn't really. And you know what? That's actually a really good point for you guys to keep in mind. All right. The, the, There's no reason the, to not the drive to actually look into it because if they're already working on it and they said publicly they are working on it, mm-hmm. then I don't see much of a point for me doing it. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that's an extremely valid point that, that, that community needs to keep in mind. This is not an excuse to come to Ripper with every little bug in the client. Okay, it's not. Please don't. All right. As a matter of fact, uh, Ripper has, has maintained that, that you don't do a whole lot with PMs. Okay, so be, be respectful of, of this young man's privacy. That said, uh, if Scopely is working on something, there's absolutely no reason for Ripper to double down on the efforts. Well, okay. S- um, we have we have a Discord for that. <laughs> I'd say, you know what? Thank you. I think that's that's extremely smart. If you want to create or you want to report or you want to suggest, you must visit Ripper's Corner. It's a Discord. The link will be made posted right now in our YouTube chat. Aaron got it. Uh, it will be posted in our graphics room. That is where you need to send stuff. Uh, I, I would not at all blame Ripper if if PMs were just automatically trashed. Okay. Uh, throw it in the graphics room, and let's make sure that he is able to to see that, and that's where you can make your suggestions or, or your... What sometimes your happens request. with PMs is I see a notification, then I swipe it away, and... <laughs> Never come back. Then I forget about it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, question. It's not intentional. That's really... I'm not intentionally ignoring people. I just It's just a, a quirk that I have. It, it happens. If I don't do things, sometimes the minute we'll do I, text I see messages them, and everything in the they're, 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 they're <laughs> gone. They're, they're out of my mind. And then, yeah, it's just, and that happens constantly with many, many things. You, you wouldn't believe how many times a day I lose my phone. Brian asks, does the it. North Star properly show correct mining values? No. Uh, now, now, I haven't looked, I haven't tested it. I don't think any of my fixes affect that one, but that's also something that 
I yeah, the healthy it. mining bonus has always been a very wonky display, and I, I don't fully understand it. Uh, we can put it on the list of things to check, but no, as of now, there's no changes there. All right, Blokemon writes, Criminal Ripper, you are a wizard. Thank you for everything you've done for this community. I don't think, uh, I don't think anybody could say it quite any better than that. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, as Bubba pointed out at the beginning of the show, Ripper has spent an inordinate amount of time, especially over the last 30 to 40 days, in providing the community with stfc.space and now providing the community with, with two years uh, worth of bug fixes in the span of a week. Um, if you value this young man, I'm going to highly encourage you to visit his Discord uh, and find his Patreon link or find his PayPal donation link, which will be posted right here, right now, in our graphics channel as well. Uh, and please, uh, if you feel so moved, uh, obviously Ripper has made it abundantly clear. And, and Ripper, I apologize because I know you've kind of asked me <laughs> not to go down this road. Uh, and, and, and let me be clear. The, the, all the talk about pay from Scopely and the talk about Ripper. Ripper has literally told me no. I've, I've jokingly on the air talked to Ripper about uh, selling ads or selling subscriptions to SCF, stfc.space. And, and I'll tell you, uh, I don't know, maybe two, three weeks ago, Ripper and I were having a conversation on, on a private phone call. And, and he, wasn't, he wasn't rude at all. He just said, listen, he said, you know, really, please don't ask me that again. You know, he, he said, I have zero intention on monetizing my content. I'm not going to do it. Why would this was his this was his question. Why would I do that, DJ? Just like that. Just like that voice yelling, just like he does when he gets passionate about something. Why would I do that? That's what he said. You know what? That's cool. That's his call. All right. Uh, that does not mean that he does not deserve your goodwill if you feel that you are going to thoroughly enjoy this client. Um, I don't expect anybody to do what I'm doing, um, but obviously Ripper has, has more work to do for me when, we, when, we, when it's time for us to play. All right, Ripper, when, when we finally get to sit back, we're done with Scopely. The bugs are deployed. They're fixed. Mobile, iOS, Android, and PC all have Criminal Ripper's stamp of, of work in them. When his thumbprint is on everything and everything is done, then, then Ripper and I are going to create a fun mod for this game. Um, and, and I will pay him broadly for his time. For those of you who are going to enjoy this mod here and now today, if you feel that it's going to increase your gameplay and your pleasure and your experience of this game, then I highly encourage you to consider uh, either a monthly Patreon subscription or a one-time donation, however you feel. And if you can't, that's okay too. Just You know what? Ripper would be just as happy with a thank you, which is all he's ever responded to from me. Uh, I, I, I am going to respect him and not, you know, push him to monetize or charge or, or even get paid from Scopely. He's, he's told me, he's like, I, I'm, I'm not even comfortable with, with us having those types of conversations. So they're done. I respect my friend. That doesn't mean, though, community, that what he does is considered worthless. It's probably one of the most valuable contributions this game has ever seen. Uh, between stfc.space and and the PC version, the mod, absolutely. He is the most influential player of this game today, ever. There is nobody who has impacted Star Trek Fleet Command like Ripper has, and I encourage you to keep that in mind as you enjoy his creation. Um, I believe that we may go ahead and get ready to wrap up. Ripper... Do you have anything that you would like to say? Anything at all that you would like to notify or update people of before you hit that enter button? Yeah, I have to finish writing, though. <laughs> <laughs> doing, doing, like being Is active and listening in a podcast is not, not great for writing an announcement. It's tough, it's right? It's tough. People, yeah, yeah, that's why I have to pause no, when I'm no, ty no, typing yeah. something. Uh, no, so it's just, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm not even. Like, you know, if, if I think about what I what I'm what I'm writing in that text, then it's just like you know. Yeah, yeah, no, it, no. it's tough. Um, <clears throat> let's, yes, there uh, will be a full list of what the mod can do. There will be a full list of what the mod can do. Is there an official release date for the PC version for everyone? Uh, no, it's already passed. Uh, I've said this to a lot of people, so if you're listening, let me just tell you what I've told everybody else. 
Well, not, the download yeah, link kind of. is not restricted and has no limit counter. Let me say it again. The but it's early, early access. The There's early no access general. link has no expiration, limit rate, or counter. Just saying. Saying. If you happen to stumble well, upon... Well, someone just posted something. <laughs> if you happen to stumble upon the link provided by look. a different player, then, may, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd click it and just see what happens. Maybe you error for him for it. I don't know. I, I clicked it. Uh, There you go. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It might work. Maybe. I Maybe don't know. <laughs> TL <laughs> writes, how do I get the PC client? Rewind 30 seconds. Listen and then try again. Um. Or why are all the red <laughs> dots on your YouTubes? What are you talking about? What red dots? You mean the broken ships? He's saying. Yeah. Oh. People, people have people have been wanting you to repair your ships for a while. I mean, I I'm not just like Ripper. I can't focus on playing while I'm I'm doing this. Okay. Um, Ray Hart says, DJ or no one, shall I want the link? Well, then look two lines above your chat. Seriously. <laughs> look two lines above your chat and uh, problem solved. Someone okay. posted it. In a... oh. <laughs> there you go. Um, there, you, there you go. All right. Um, so I guess that that is going to probably about do it for today. I want to thank everybody who, who joined us for this worldwide global launch of uh, stfc.space's PC mod version 1. More to come. My name is Ultimate DJs. Super proud of my friend and fellow content creator. Uh, I, I couldn't be gushing more with pride for the work that he's done and the accomplishments that he's made and even more uh, for the relationships that he's built at Scopely that they did not come out and smack his hands. They came out and said, Ooh, can we talk about what you're working on? That was literally, that was the first PM. Hey, can we have a chat about what you're working on? I, 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 it's awesome. Ripper, I can't even put into words, buddy. Good job doesn't seem to quite do it. But I try. I don't know how else to put it. Good job, buddy. Good job. Um. <clears throat> I don't know. No one show. You got anything else? I, 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 I did not think of an out here, okay? I ain't going to lie. I don't know how to get out of this. Uh, no one shall. Well, thank you for you joining about- us. <laughs> go, go ahead, Bubba Joe. What do you got real quick? Why don't you talk about what the next show is going to be about? I don't know what the next show is going to be about. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. What? Oh, oh, okay. We'll promote the Wednesday show will be grading of the arc. Wednesday show will be grading of the arc. We'll hopefully have some hints for you or something. No one shell can be my personal witness. We have not yet been briefed on the next arc, so we I can't give you hints yet. I got no idea what's coming. Enterprise D or no Enterprise D? Who effing knows? Uh, we, we got no clue. Is it the last and final arc? We don't know. Is there going to be an event store? We don't know. Okay, they haven't told us nothing. All right, they've told us zero yet. We got no clue. They haven't um, told you anything. <laughs> oh, of course. Ripper, why do you keep things from me, buddy? Like we're we're almost best friends. <laughs> like you gotta you gotta fill me in on stuff of this sometimes. Um That's funny. Anywho Well and I, I would even I would even suggest there's not even a guarantee that, that we're only gonna have one week between between arcs. I mean, we're really early in August. You know, Bubba, that's um, that is actually an extremely good point. I I did count the days. I counted the days. If we follow a normal pattern, the September arc would actually launch on August 31st. I am not 100% sure that that's going to happen. All right. There's only there's there's been a previous example, Bubba. Thank you for bringing this up. There was a previous example what in January, I think, where that happened and they did in fact delay it another week. We could be 15 days between the arcs. I don't know what they would do for 15 days between the arcs, but it's very realistic that the September arc doesn't start until the 7th. Again, we don't know. So I, I, I honestly am flying into this just as blind as you are. And, and I probably could have potentially, you know, maybe gotten some information. I don't, no one, did you get anything? That, do you know anything about the, the, the upcoming week? Because I've spent time mm-hmm, doing other stuff. Here. 
No, I haven't really been on either. So yeah, we, we've had we've had stuff uh, stuff happening. So you know, and, and of course, Ripper's project has, has taken time. So I, I don't know. I don't know. We will keep you posted <laughs> as we get the information, as we are allowed to share it with you. Okay, uh, we'll we'll do that. I, if if in fact there is 15 days between the arcs, then stock up, have some fun, go do some rating, but grind some rep. Okay, get you build some keys. Uh, whatever. I, I have no idea what it'll be, but we'll we'll try to let you know about that as. Uh, as it's coming, um, want to thank our uh, our guest tonight, Bubba Joe, Big Country Foe on Fifteen. Thank you very much for being here. Also, uh, live from Server Thirty Four, Handy. I I want to say Handy is here, uh, and I'm just going to take sixty seconds on this. All right, or a real sixty seconds, Big Country. You can set a timer. I was invited. <laughs> I was invited to Tech Man Sixteen's podcast this morning. Uh, and I went. I was promised a dumpster fire. I didn't quite get it handy. A little bit disappointed. Ain't gonna lie. But um, I'm kidding. It was actually really. It was a ton of fun. Uh, and way more nice than than it it normally is. That said, uh, I felt like I connected with Handy uh, a little bit. I know that we had talked about Server Thirty Four. We had talked about the the Nona conflict. Uh, and and I'd even kind of waffled right I offered an opinion and then I backed off from that opinion then I talked about player choice and Handy and I messaged and talked about it after the show and and we're PMing back and forth about player choice and and their right to play and all this stuff uh and had a really good conversation uh over PM over the last couple days and then again uh, this morning briefly that said to any player of Nona who is out there listening right now uh, I feel like I can legitimately say this because I feel like Handy may have may have kind of like unofficially uh, granted me like the status to be able to, to say things. My sign off today from Tech Man's podcast was, you know, thank you uh, for having me. It was a lot of fun. My name's Ultimate DJs. Nona sucks. Um, I, I, I just want to make it super clear that <laughs> that if the words Nona sucks ever comes out of my mouth. It, it is literally made in jest with, with fun and respect at its core. Handy and I had, had a lot of fun with this this morning. Obviously, I mean, no offense by it, uh, but it was fascinating to, to converse with Handy and talk about his server experiences. Handy is, is muted right now. I actually would, would invite him to, to chat for a second about it, but, but he may not be listening at the moment. So anyway, it was a good time. You guys can check out uh, Trek Talk with Tech and Kirk. Uh, that episode was taped today. I'm not sure when he'll get it up, but it was it was kind of fun. And apparently, uh, I was suffering a, an equipment malfunction, so uh, my microphone sounded terrible. My, uh, no one shall. They said I sounded like Mickey Mouse for like 30 minutes. <laughs> my my Discord my Discord did something to to the pitch of my voice. <laughs> so. So apparently I was like on helium. Mini Mouse. I was right. on Minnie helium. Mouse. I was on helium for half of the interview. And and no one told me. I mean, well, I mean I guess they did, but but they didn't say that it clearly wasn't my voice. They just said it sounded funny. Well, I thought it was just cuz I was on my phone and not in the studio. No, apparently it was like straight up Minnie Mouse chipmunk like, oh, "Hi everybody." Whatever, like and I <laughs> half the interview, half of it. In that terrible, terrible sound. So, uh, anyway, I uh, want to thank Handy and Tech Man and Kirk for uh, for having me on today. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and Nona still sucks. And uh, <laughs> and I mean that with love. Um, Dragon Keeper says, is there a link to the mod? It is coming. Uh, we were hoping to do it by mm. the end of the show. Ripper got distracted by my talking. So, we will uh, we'll make sure that it's posted. Uh, as a matter of fact, go ahead now. And get in and subscribe to his YouTube channel. Uh, this is YouTube channel. I'm looking at my YouTube channel. His Discord, Ripper's Corner. Get in there. That is the first place where you will see the mod bundle. All right. Keep in mind three files. All right. That mod uh, mod bundle will come from his Discord. I'm sure it will come as an official announcement, which also means that we will uh, share it as well here in our Discord, so you'll be able to find it in the Scopely Squad room, and I'm sure Stevens Aaron will be looking for it and immediately posting it into our official announcements room as well. Oh, it's already there? N23 says it's already there. Ripper, did you post it? Ripper gone? Uh, nope. No, it's not there. What are we talking about, Ann? N23 says it's already there. It's not there yet. 
Not up yet. There is no coming link yet. Coming in a few moments. All right, he's he's finishing up. Uh, real quick, no one shall anything to plug, promote, or uh, comment on before we get ready to wrap up. No, got nothing right now. Been kind of stagnant from my end. Oh, you know what? Actually, you do. You do have something. Uh, you may not have it planned yet, but for the September arc, uh, oh, yeah. content creators will be giving away five more free battle passes. So no one shall will oh, be dang. giving his away at some point. Uh, and we will do ours here. Get and S- me. Stevens Aaron will be doing his uh, in Ripper's Corner as well. Hey, what's up, Trojan? Says Nona Rocks. <laughs> I love the fact that, that this is now a playful thing. Um, so, hey, shout out. Shout out to Nona uh, in all seriousness. Um, it was good. It was good. It was a good conversation to have with them. Let's see. Dark Menace says, still waiting for a show about the 95% thing. Okay, that's fair. Keep waiting. I, I'm not, I'm not going to talk any more about it. I, I I listen. I've said before that that what that that Scopely has has been shuffling a lot of dates and changing things. And and what I have said probably shouldn't have, but I already clued you in that that not only was the PC version, but Scopely ID were pieces of this puzzle. Uh, it's a large puzzle, and there's a lot of working components. And dates have continued to change, Bubba. I, I may not be able to deliver on my quote of being a, I mean, other than when it comes, then I can say this was it, but I, I don't, I'm not going to keep talking about it every, every show because I, I don't know. It's been pushed again. Uh, but, but we're seeing pieces. That's we're seeing, fine. We're seeing pieces. You know, the, the PC version came scopely ID came pieces are, are presenting themselves, but, but I don't know how long it's going to be before we see, before we see all of it, see everything. So, uh, we'll, we'll just, we'll just go. You, you can't, it. You can't be held responsible for that. And to be fair, probably not even Scopely can be. I mean, things happen in a deployment, right? I mean, that's that that happens. I, I imagine there are dozens of things that got pushed from arc to arc that weren't quite ready, that had to wait for an arc to get finished engineering, right? So we just never see behind the curtain. But, you know, it's going to get here. You're excited about it. That means I'm going to be excited about it. So we'll get there. And, and you know, listen, I, I do want to want to point this out. Maybe 95%. Uh, was an aggressive number. Maybe I, I don't know that it's backed up by anything statistical. In my mind, that that's that's something I say when I believe that almost everybody will benefit. But I'm but I'm here to tell you, even this, like even this, the the PC version and Scopely ID, that's already pretty big, and and, and not just with what Scopely did by themselves, Bubba. Because you told me, listen, the PC version, you were not super thrilled when you saw the first version from Scopely. But let me just ask you now, uh, comparative to day one, how much more satisfied with you are? Uh, how much more satisfied are you with that there is a PC version now, knowing that that Ripper has been able to actually tinker? So, so my my fear with the PC version is that it was going to basically just be a port of the uh, of the BlueStacks client, and and it basically is. Mm -hmm. Um, I am much, 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 much happier with the mods that I've seen on your YouTube, uh, from Ripper, you know, improve this, that Ripper's deploying in his mod is what I expected from a PC game, right? This is the level of not necessarily the customization, but the visual ability of, you know, the ability to make the system bigger or smaller, um, that's a huge PC game thing to me. So this I'm happy about the, the Roth from Scopely. I mean, they'll get there, they'll improve it. They'll fix something. But, uh, this addition is huge in my opinion. Ripper. I just saw a banner. We missed a banner type. Did we? We did a helps banner. Yeah. Look, we missed the helps banner. Um, there must be another one in there. <laughs> <laughs> there's wait, did I, didn't I, wait did i not include standard in there <clears throat> i think those are standard ones so what the name is just standard i think so is it not in there i do did not I see it? standard not yet i'm still looking no standard is not here so just insert standard comma <laughs> yeah standard comma there you go okay i'll save that right there Okay. Those should be those. Yeah, of course, I'll have to reinitialize the client, but I just those, saw that pop those are, up. Those are basically just generic text notifications. Well, no, well, you, he's not going to have to release. 
He's not going to have to release version two because we just told you what it is, and you can type it in the config file yourself. All right, there you go. Um, so <clears throat> let's see what else we got. I, I I think I think we should we should be done. I feel like I'm just stalling now. Ripper, are you, are you about ready, or should we just go ahead and wrap up, and that way you can you can do it whenever you we want. We can we can wrap up, and then okay, uh, you, you just do it whenever I mean, you want. In the process good. of writing the announcement right now. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and by the way, like I said, Lost and Found says you know people are still going to complain. No complaints allowed for free volunteer work. Okay, none. <laughs> to expect me to be salty if somebody bitches about this. All right, I, I, I mean, that's seriously. fine. Oh, people always complain. Yeah, no well. <laughs> Someone <laughs> always will <laughs> expect that. Um, so we'll, uh, Snake Guy says, I'm complaining. I'm complaining immediately. All right, uh, real quick. You know what? Here's what I'll do. Discord uh, or YouTube. I got both of them pulled up on the exact same screen. I'll give you exactly five minutes. Rapid fire questions will give you, give you five minutes very quickly on um, any questions that you've got, either related to the mod, related to the game, related to the arc, anything that I can answer, I'll give it to you. Dragon Keeper says, how good is Worf? Not. <laughs> um, Fudge says, listening to the latest podcast and hearing people pronounce row like row, it's like saying toss for toss, just don't do it. Um, you know, I even used to say ROE, and now I have found myself getting sucked into talking about row. I, I don't like row either, Fudge, to be honest with you. It's ROE, but I, I feel like it's just been, it's just in my face. It's been slammed and slammed and slammed. Well, it's um, toe. No, no, like toe, but it's T-O-E. not an abbreviation. Toe is not an abbreviation, so you can say the word. <laughs> row is not. If you're talking about row, like fish eggs, fine, it can be row, okay. But if you're talking about rules of all engagement, right. it's an abbreviation. All right, it's not row. It's a gif or jeff. <laughs> I've, I think I've always called him jiffs. Gif? Yeah, I definitely call him Jeff. I had to say that out loud before I yeah, started. Yeah, no, I'm not, not going to start that one. <laughs> <laughs> I had to figure that out loud yeah, before don't, I started. Don't. Uh, nothing better to do says spam it today. Are we due for spam it today? It's a Sunday. We don't do spam it on Sundays. I don't think so. Oh, crap. No. Wednesday. Spam it's Wednesday. Well, yeah, but it's supposed to be the third Wednesday, isn't it? Are we overdue? Yeah, I was supposed uh, to do it last Wednesday. Uh, one, two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot, sorry. I just... Yeah. My bad. That was freaking list of player IDs. I'm sorry. That shouldn't have been up there. That's terrible. Please don't do anything with that. <laughs> they don't work anymore. <laughs> ha! There you go. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, was, support can still, yeah, I was going to say, that was a security breach if I've ever done one. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that is terrible. Snake Eyes, can, can we cut tell that? You helps. All right, yeah. That's what I was wondering. Anyway, yeah, it helps right here. Ask for help. It'll give you your numbers. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. I'm glad. Snake, Steven, you're going to have to figure out how to help me cut that. All right. Um,. Anthony says C++ port when? I don't even know what that means. Is that a ripper question? Wait, when, when he just it? said C++ port when? Question mark. Of of what? Your question makes no sense, Anthony. Try again. Um, of the game? Never. Victor says, what about the possibility to tear up a ship in the background and leave the dock free? Not related to the mod. I, if Scopely wants to do that in the game, that's fine. But uh, But again, that's... That is not – that's a function, and that cannot be performed by the mod. <clears throat> All right. Um, Grumpy Grandpa, <laughs> I like the name, says, are there any tips behind a way team assembly formula and success chance? Yeah, this was a project that I, that I kind of got behind on. So long story short, you're, you're – let me show you. Long story short, we will make it. We will. We will at some point. There's a lot of work. There's just a lot of work. It's on the list. It. Yeah, lots of the work. The list keeps growing. It keeps know? getting bigger. It never, it never gets short. It, only, it, it does it. Uh, long story short, folks. What what he's asking about here is uh, let's take a look at this critical stat. All right, the key stat attack. Here's what I can tell you simply: if you take an attack officer with with you know a thousand attack points. All right, let, let's take a look at Khan. He's got twenty two hundred and seventy two attack points. All right. Um. Attack will be weighted double in this particular one. So I'm going to get 4,544 points worth of statistics by adding Khan into this area. What? Okay. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, that didn't work right. Why is that showing? No, no, you get you get 2,272 attack points. 
No, wait, yeah. what? That's... No. Something's weird here. No. Remember, that doesn't, that doesn't show your full stats. Oh, yeah, it doesn't show the full stats. Oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, that's, is... that's, it doesn't show, yeah, doesn't show research yeah. and all that, and academy and all that. So, okay, here's how we'll do it. Uh, here's how we'll do it. Here's how we'll do it. But that, so what shows 9336, on the, on the right that is here. doubled. That is doubled. So what's the number? 9336 divided by 2. Well, no, no. No, that, that is your full no. stat. What the hell's going oh, on? It's, the, the, the key stat is weighted 1, and the other ones are weighted, are half. weighted 0.5. Okay, thank you. See, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not in the headspace to do this today. But anyway, yeah. Uh, key but that is, is not displayed. But, that is not displayed. But the it's displayed not. numbers is yeah. always the full number. The internal calculation weights them according to 1 and 0.5. Yes. There you go. 1 and 0.5. And then, of course, what we have not done yet, which I, I promise I'll renew my efforts on, uh, what we haven't done yet is just determining what the, the required statistic point is for 100%. Which that's what Arian's been working on, and, and we'll get to that. I promise. Anthony says the ability to chore, uh, store chat logs. No, we haven't. The chat is a server-based function. Uh, it is a service that is embedded in the app through Scopely servers. Has nothing to do with the client, uh, except it does kind of technically actually have a little bit, but it's just because the chat client is so bad. All right, it, it's not a problem within the client that it that it doesn't show messages or it deletes this or whatever. It's just that the chat client's just bad. So, um, Michael says I'm live. Yeah, I, I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Stony dude says, "How's your back feeling? Some better at times, not better other times. I don't know. I, I no no major change. I'll keep you posted, but no, I'm not. I'm not actually having a real good day." Uh, with my back and leg big <laughs> I'm not even going to read that question anymore I feel like I read that question every single show how come when I upgrade the impulse ship for a uh, inc impulse speed for a ship the impulse speed doesn't change I know we keep answering that question <laughs> snake eyes oh uh, you guys are just, I guess we're done you guys are just asking silliness now um are there any more real questions real questions Snake Eyes, I don't know. Tree plantation need, when? You need, Snake Eyes, so. go back because you can't take something out of the middle. YouTube Studio only lets you clip off the end, so just go back to where I just accidentally showed like 50 players' player IDs and just hack it off. <coughs> hack it off right there. There won't be a closing to the show, which means, hell, I don't even have to worry about closing the show now. Does that mean I can cuss <laughs> since we're going to cut this part out? Oh, Snake Eyes says he can. Okay, well, then I'll, then I'll give you a closing. Bubba Joe says official merger news. I do not have official merger news. What I do know is unofficially there is a merge coming, and apparently it's going to be done exactly the same way as the last one, which is quickly and in the stillness of night. <laughs> but, uh, but anywho, all right. So that's, that's what we expect. Um, Stony Dude says the merge event stinks. Yeah, but on the other hand, then that means you just got a 50 50 shot of being the one random alliance that's going to lose your base or lose your server and all that stuff. So, um, let's see. Do we have any other questions that we can talk about? IJ says, What's your opinion on Troy? I'm not going to get into a real long conversation, but I do like Troy. Sadly, I'm not going to get her. Um, I, I don't, I don't see myself Aww. being, I don't see myself being able to make up the ground that I need. I did not, these auctions, <clears throat> these auctions were more expensive. They were, I'm, I'm in 20th place now. Now I don't have a ton of points, but I mean, we know what's going to happen. Wait, we, know, one, oh, I'm, we know what's going to happen to these I, points tomorrow. Okay. Th these um, points I'm are a bit, of, I'm a bit ahead of that. Well, I mean, I I, yeah. I can I can get a few more points too, but I mean, I, I played in the last auction, so mm. I uh, I'm I'm a little I'm a little skinny. So, oh man, I was like a fifth of that. Yeah. <laughs> Tim says, "Can you show us again what to click on to get the settings for the PC version, please?" Uh, don't don't worry, an announcement's coming, Tim. We're gonna we're gonna make everything downloadable for you. We're gonna tell you how to use it, where to put it. Uh, and how you can customize it, it will all be, uh, it will all be provided in the downloadable bundle that stfc.space is preparing, 
as we speak. Uh, what I was going to show you real quick, and, IJ. And the stream will still be up as well later on. So yeah. you can go back can and also, watch this at any oh, time. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can go back right now if you wanted to. Huh? Yeah. What? You can actually go back to previous minutes and hours. And yeah, you can rewind the show. I've got 78 shards. Uh, as far since today is the last day of the arc, I'm 22 short. Uh, I've already done my SMS. Is there any Troy shards over here? Nope. <clears throat> so I'm 22 shards short. I mean, I, I'm literally, I'm done. Unless I get, unless I get fifth place or better. I am out, and I, I can assure you I do not have the available bank to do it. Like, I'm, I'm out. The, the, the officer that I predicted to be one of the most influential officers in the future, Bubba Joe, uh, I, I promoted her. I hyped her right out of my budget. <laughs> so, you all stop listening to me. Okay. Something that I imagine will come up on the on the uh, arc and review is that I think both officers this month were very future. Like now, don't don't the the wharf captain's ability is garbage and trash. It is never going to be relevant. Don't don't. I'm not saying that one, but I do believe that there is a future state where his officer ability will matter and be relevant. Just like there is a future state where I think Deanna will be vitally important. So both of these officers are future states. Yeah. Um, yeah, Scaly. I mean, I, that's, that's what I was saying. I, the, the, the correct and accurate player ID is the long one. The short one will still decode. Nothing's really changed. They're just showing you your real one now. That's, that's why what I did was actually a security risk. So, so this snake eyes is going to have to fix that for me. I, I can't believe I did that. DJ did an oopsie. Uh, that, that, that's a big oopsie. So. Uh, so, anywho, DJ, did, how do, how are you doing on the away team's assignments? You had told me you were saving up and we're going to try and just break out in this event. Yeah. So how did you do? Uh, I'm currently in the last bracket. I, I will, I might be able to hold on to top 15, but I mean, everybody was doing what I did. Look at these scores. Snake guy says 20,000 points, Bubba. <laughs> 20,000. That means he's done 40 <laughs> epics. Okay. Like what he, has, this? he has 20,000 points. So I, I have 6,000 points and I'm, I'm like tapped, you know? So I'm, I do still have a few points left. I didn't, I didn't burn everything down to zero, but I knew I wasn't catching up to that top. Plus, <laughs> Hey, how about this? You know what? I will say this. How about this major fail for this event? Okay. This major fail for this event is putting me with 50 bros, okay? Uh, Bracketing-wise, Bubba Joe, I might have potentially done better if normal bracketing had remained in place, okay? Which obviously is not an excuse because Snake Eyes is a 42. Uh, oh, oh, 43. I mean, he's a 43 and he's competing, obviously. I mean, technically, you have the access to the same ones. Like, you, there's technically no difference in points. Yeah, well, I don't like these wide brackets like this. Look, look, level That's 50 bros. Story, level 50 you know. bros everywhere. Look at them all. All right. Actually, the fact that I'm even in the top 15 is kind of a miracle, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, I don't like the bracketing. I'm calling the bracketing a major fail here. But nonetheless, not about, I, I, I tried. I, I hope to stay in the top 15. I've still got a few things that I can that I can spend to try to stay in the top 15 but yeah no I I uh I'm clearly not going to not going to be near the top I mean yeah someone says uh, 36 and they have to go but, up against 39s that's that's unfortunate that shouldn't, shouldn't so happen. well yeah because I, you I can't get you can't get an epic until 39 so the 36s are at a major disadvantage go ahead bubba I completely agree about the bracketing but can you go show, look at the rewards for the uh, milestone, or either one actually? Okay. So here's first place. Yeah, sir. In my opinion, uh, the the recruit tokens are nice, but not enough. The servos are the big thing. I, I think you know. I yep. mean, as expensive as they are, the servos are the massive. And when I say massive, I mean I know we've talked about it with refresh tokens in the past. What do they value them at? Is are they overvalued? But I mean, here's the thing: these servos. This is a free-to-play's only way to get more than 10 or 16 a day. So even in 15th place, they're giving you, 
you know, even using the best RNG possible, they're giving you 10 days progression in servos. That, I think, deserves it's conversation. Huge. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's, 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 yeah it's, it's a huge bump uh, at the end of the arc, obviously, but it is a nice bump. Um, so I don't know that I'm going to finish in the top 15 on my bracket, but luckily I'm now having only, you know, I didn't buy the last pack. I'm now only 76 servos away because of the, because of the solo milestones servos. I'm only 76 away. I'll be there by Wednesday. So they'll be nice. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see. Snake eyes is killing it. And hopefully I can hang on to the, if I can hang on to the top 15, I'll be happy. That's a, that's still that's ten days worth of servos for me, so I'll, I'll be happy with that. And of course, mm-hmm. you know, golly, if Snake Eyes pulls this off, I mean, that's that's forty five days. That's forty five days worth of servos. Like that, that is no that's small not, prize. That's, that's not terrible. I mean, that's not that's no small prize. You know, I know we we might be fussing about what the value of the servos are to begin with, but just given what they are in the game and given what the rate of uh, refining them is. These prizes are fantabulous. Fantabulous uh, as far as the servos go. All right. I believe uh, I believe that'll that'll get ready to wrap it up. We cool? Are we good? Snake Eyes, please yeah. go and, and remove my security risk. I'm I'm so sorry. I don't even know what to say to the affected players. Because it's not just that. I mean, anybody watching right now could rewind it, screenshot it. You know, like that. Yeah. It, it's that that information has now been leaked. I'm sorry. I, I don't know if there's anything at all I can do about that. Please, just if you uh, if you were here live and you were watching don't, live, don't, don't talk about it now. Well, I'm just gonna say don't if you're if you're now, here live, please do the right thing and and close the stream. Don't rewind it. Don't do anything terrible. Uh, because that, that that's that's gonna be on me. Don't tell them how. <laughs> well, I mean, first of all, anybody who's yeah. joining the stream now wouldn't have it. It's only somebody who's been here long enough. To be able to to have to have seen it live, and I'm just going to say to those people, just close the stream. All right, don't 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 screw me. That's my fault. Well, it obviously, I, it's my mistake. I, I'm rewinding. I'm rewinding and screenshotting yeah, right now. Asshole, Nona sucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's payback. I know, right? I got it. <laughs> Fine, Nona's great. All right, I love them. They're amazing. Now close your damn window. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right uh guys thank you so much my name is ultimate djs we're gonna wrap up here so snake eyes can go ahead in and and remove my security faux pas snake eyes uh upon our conclusion please immediately take the video down <laughs> and, and fix the thing and and uh and then we can put it back up after after the thing has been fixed um, that's terrible. I didn't know that, Dark Sider. I thought it was like DVR. You had to be watching live. <laughs> no. Crap. All right. Uh, all done. My name is Ultimate DJs. Thanks to our guests. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank you to all of our contributors. And most of all, thank you to the man of the hour, the hero of the day, champion of the players, and hero to all, Criminal Ripper, for yet again another amazing community beneficial project you have our eternal thanks. Criminal Ripper is the hero of the day. My name is Ultimate DJs, and you've been listening to Talking Trek, Star Trek Fleet Command's official podcast. You guys stick around in the Discord after party room where we will chit-chat just for a little bit while we await the drop of Ripper's Mod. It's coming in only moments. You guys stick around for it. My name is Ultimate DJs, your friendly neighborhood cat person, saying meow for now. Love you, mean it. See you later. Bye-bye.